Pee pee poo poo. Lurking Gluff, everyone. What's up, guys? It's baby time, baby. Twenty A G H M U. Guys, he's had me locked in a closet all week, and there ain't even room to crank one's hog in there. Cheer one hundred. If you don't get the Wordle in three or less, I revoke my Bezos bucks.
Anything is truly possible. Comes new gambling opportunity. Place your bets now. It's time to play Banzai. Look what they did to my hands. Banzai! Don't forget to tell your friends what happens if they fuck around here. You understand? I'm sorry, I made a bad mistake. You're fucking right, you made a bad mistake. Place your bits now! Quick, quick, quick! Remember, tonight could be your night if you play your card right. Betting end. Opportunity. Don't worry, guys. This is just a. Uh, this is like a soft opening. Time to play. Banzai! Don't forget to tell your friends what happens if they fuck around here. You understand? I'm sorry, I made a bad mistake. You're fucking right, you made a bad mistake. Place your bits now! Quick, quick, quick! Remember, tonight could be your night if you play your card right. Betting end. Ah, fuck. Hello! It's good to see everybody! I'm so sorry! I, uh, I pressed the wrong button. I'm still getting used to stuff here, alright? My apologies. I nailed it. Alright, as long as you think so. First of all, let's go to Talk to the Moon, baby! Thank you guys so much. I can't see it too much. I can kind of see your guys' chats, but... A little bit here. Mike Honcho, how you doing? Puss Pants, Brow, Zerky, hello, hello. Moon, good to see you. I'll get you guys all in a second. 
right before starting this stream today, um, I realized that I can't read chat. <laughs> I focused on everything else besides the fact that I can't read chat. But so what I did was I um, I just made th the chat gigantic on on uh, on this screen so I can kind of see you guys a little bit. So that's good. Jar, how you doing? Good to see you guys. Thank you guys for hanging out today. We're doing a little bit different now on the stream, um, and I can dive into more of that here in a second. I'm nervous as hell. I'm always nervous. This is kind of getting back to uh, the roots of when I first started streaming. When I first started streaming, the stream was completely different. Somewhere down the line, I um, fell down the path of becoming a desktop streamer. Uh, well, l let's be honest. It was because it was it's uh, it was, it's what was paying the bills. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I'm very grateful to Tarkov, but I would like to get at least a little bit back into the old style of the way that I used to stream which I felt always was a bit more creative. So right now what I have done for all of us is basically we have we have laid down a foundation to 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 build off of and soon the stream will become a giant skyscraper. And I think it'll be good. And to celebrate we're going to be having a modello. Thank you. Check this out. I got a new lens too. So I love this. Uh, this I have a 12 millimeter uh, Rokinon for my Sheer main camera. 100. Oh my! Look at him upright, fully oh, erect. God damn! He's not the only one standing to attention right now. I'm hog fucking hard. Oh shit! Got to pick up my that, boy. That's be gotta be right smashed. Back in about 30 minutes. That's gotta be smash, dude. Smash. What's going on with you? Let's have a let's have a couch talk, <laughs> guys. This is the uh, this is the first beer of the stream. The new setup. It, it is not a, a Voodoo Ranger. Now, please, Voodoo Ranger, don't be sad. I still love you to bits. The only reason I'm having this is because I don't want to have one beer and, and be on the ground, drunk as shit. Ooh, that takes me back, dude. Dude, Modelo takes me back. Tier 100. Me want butt sex. We'll get to that. Oh, check this snazzy place out. It's all hop to the hop. Can't wait to come around and sit on that couch while we talk about who won the Drake and Kendrick V. Oh, Welcome back, standing hex loom. Move on. Move on with your life. Alcohol, let's go. Don't worry. I, I have a Modelo. We're getting crazy with the Modelo. And the reason why I would have gotten two Modellos, but the reason why I only have one Modelo is because they didn't have another one. That's basically it. So they had something else. It's called uh, Youngling. Is that what it's called? Yingling? I don't know what it's actually called. Uh, I was about to make a uh, Mr. Beast joke. Never mind. I, I, what I, I, I got that because when I used to be way back in the day, Hexlon used to be a, a fed. All right. I used to cats out of the bag. Cats out of the bag. Anyways, I had to go training in Glencoe, Georgia at a federal law enforcement training academy. <laughs> uh Trust me, I it was not my element. I was so out of place there. It was insane, and I'm pretty sure everybody thought I was some kind of spy. Uh, but anyway, so the guy that I would talk to most of the most of all, his name was Garrett. Uh, this music makes it seem like we had sex a lot, but we didn't. Uh, but anyways, he would always go on about Yingling. Though. He's been with the five gifted. If you guys got a gift sub, be sure to say thank you. I'll get to more of all these here in a second. I can't see. This is good to know. I'll put it on the board. So I wanted to try it out. I assume it tastes is pretty much like this. Is he being gifted a tier one sub to Zach Lay? <sighs> is oh. he being gifted a tier one sub to <sighs> Sir Burnsy? Is he being gifted a tier one sub to King Tasty underscore? Is he being gifted a tier one sub to Mc underscore Tinkle underscore Barry? It's in the fridge, Stu. It's in the stew. It's in the stew fridge. It's in the stew fridge. Anyways, I'm having a midlife crisis, and this is my stand-up arc. Uh, so, but we have a lot of cool stuff coming to the stream. Um, we've, well, I've laid a good foundation, I feel like, and we can build off of it. We have some. I still have millions of things that I want to do for the stream, and 
what has been going on with me in my mental frame the past month, and I feel like we should all talk about this. Because you guys are part of this stream. You guys should know what's going on. Is I was just in a dark spot with uh, my mental frame and basically just not being happy with what I was doing. And I tried to think, like, what, what am I doing here? Why why do I feel this way? And I figured it out. It's because I'm not happy with the way what my content is. So what do you do? You overhaul. After you're done crowing in, in a ball, bawling your eyes out, thinking the world's going to end, you, uh, you try to fix it. And so the first step of that, I think, was the old stream room. The old stream room was dark. And think about this, too. I, I was in there more than just streaming, right? I, I would be editing constantly. And that, like, that takes up a lot of my time. So I would just be in this mental dark framework cave. Update just dropped. And my, my mental health just, like, deteriorated with that. You know? I thought that room was going to be really cool, but it's just dark and there's not a lot of sunlight. And here, dude, we got ample sunlight. Some might say we have too much sunlight. I got so much sunlight, I'm trying to get some uh, drapes in here to get rid of some of it. But it's kind of nice. I like being in the this, this sunlight. It's it's great. It's insane how much your your brain is tied to to just nature. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, thank you. I'm not cool enough for a single speed. Heels, uh, hills scare me. I once had a coaster bike. If you don't know what a coaster bike is, that means when you backpedal, that is your brake. Awesome bike. However, the downfall, uh, no, the downfall of that bike, however, though, is if the chain falls off, you have no brake. <laughs> and that's what happened to me one day while going down a hill into oncoming traffic. And what I had to do is shove my, I was like, I, I, I'm either going to, I need to flip my bike or I'm going to get hit by a car. So I decided to flip my bike and I shoved my foot into the uh, front fork. And I flipped over. I, I was, it, listen, I didn't have that much time, all right, to think. That's right. I was a hero. I was a goddamn American hero. And I flung over the handlebars and I slammed into the pavement, scratched myself, and I was heading to work, actually. This was the uh, no car Hexaloom saga story arc. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Help! Uh, anyway. <laughs> I forgot about those. I thought someone. I thought they were. Listen, man. There's something going on in the Tarkov community, saying that they're 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 out to get everybody. I, I'm scared as shit. Maybe it's just Julie. Honestly, who wouldn't want to? Never mind. I'm not gonna say that on stream. I. It, <laughs> I. Listen. I, I I flipped over the handlebars, and this is chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Nothing but love. Come on, please. It's not funny. I know Lettuce is laughing his ass off, though. Anyways, I, I flipped over the handlebars, and this is how much love I had for my boss at the time. I literally called my boss, and I said, Listen, I just got in an accident, but I'm still coming into work. I showed up to work. My hands were bleeding, and I was, like, bleeding through my shirt. And the other people there were like, This guy needs to go home. And my boss, bless his heart, was like, can you still work? And I was like, yeah, if you want me to. And that just goes to show that your job is more about who your boss is, honestly. The guy was great. I love that dude. Dude was the best. Mm-hmm. That's dedication. You can have a shit job, but if your boss is great, you, you will do anything and everything to, to, uh, to, to make sure that their ass is safe. Anyways. Oh my god, I'm covering Tom. We got Tom Hanks over here. As you can see, I am the proud owner of not only one, but that's right, two laser discs of the movie Trancers. I can I can I can feel the jealousy coming off of you guys right now. It's insane. That's right, two laser discs. They, they, are, they are clean as shit, too. I was very happy about that. We were moving up in the world. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, you must have paid an arm and a leg for that, for that Tim Thomerson movie. It wasn't that bad, actually. That's why I have two of them. So <laughs> They look expensive, but they're not really. 
Where's the PC? The PC's right there. That's what I'm looking at. So, I hope you guys have been having fun. I don't know what's been going on this past week. I've literally just been here trying to uh, figure out scenes, editing scenes, doing all this stuff, talking to Greg, Greg demanding things, telling me, hey, did you do that Blender all thing all of a sudden? I'm like, no, I, what the fuck? Yeah, I just learned Blender in 10 minutes. What? <laughs> Stressing me out, this director guy. We got some fun stuff planned, though, for later. We got with Greg, director Greg Bjorkman of Hit Film Press Play that you can watch on Hulu. Uh, some other things going on here. We got a ceiling cam now, guys. We got to be careful doing this. Got to be careful doing this. I hate this camera. All right, we got, we, I, I completely forgot that I have a 360 degree camera. Um, it's been in storage for, I think I used it once. And it, I used it once on uh, the last Food Lab. I got it specifically for Food Lab so that we could, uh, it, it could move me back and forth in the kitchen. But guess what? Get, check this shit out. This is what's cool about the new setup. I actually didn't think about this. I don't know if my headset will reach that far. Please, if you guys have any recommendations as far as um, wireless earbuds, I don't want headsets. I have, I used to have a wireless headset. I don't want anything over my head. If you guys have any suggestions on like wireless earbuds that I can wear that are still good for gaming, I know Logitech came out with one, but if there is anything better, please let me know. I hate wires. I don't want to be bound to anything. They won't be as good as these, but all right, come with me. Anyways. Anyways, we have that over there now, so um, we'll be able to uh, do kitchen stuff. And obviously, we'll flip this camera around or we'll do what we need to. Uh, we'll bring this camera back down. I got multiple other webcams that we can use. We're bringing back Food Lab. So Food Lab's going to be brought back. It's going to be awesome. I hate cords, man. I'm just wrapped up in them. <sighs> Sennheiser Momentum 4 True Wireless are great. Just snagged a pair. They are awesome. Okay. How does this mic sound, by the way? Does this mic sound okay? It sounds good in my ears, but let me know. I'm here. Please, you. Yeah, if you guys could put them in there, because I might have missed a bunch. Uh, that would be great. I really do. I would like to invest in a good pair of a wireless earbuds. I don't need a wireless mic. I don't feel like... I don't think it's really uh, important. I do have the Rode wireless mics that I can use, but wireless headset, I feel like that's more important to me. I, I can figure out the mic situation. But yeah. DJI has good lapel mic. Oh, I got the Rode lapel mics. That, that's fine with me. Uh, I'm hyped. This is going... Uh, I've never used this setup before, obviously. I did some, like, test runs a little bit last night just to make sure the scenes were running well. You know, I was basic. I was literally just in here acting like I was streaming. It was the funniest thing. <laughs> I look, probably look like a fucking psychopath. Also, I had all of these windows open, um, and I was just in, like, pitch. I didn't realize, like, how dark it got because I was just being a PC goblin and a uh, computer goblin, and I... I, I uh, eventually realized that I had just been sitting in complete darkness with the screens on. Probably looked like a fucking psycho. 
and then I was trying to get this camera to work, but you got to be really careful when you do it because it needs to see your hand. But some other people might think that you're doing something else, especially when I have all these fucking blinds open. I don't know why they made it and look that way. You got to shove, shove your palm up in the air. But we got a good show. Uh, like I said, I was, I, I'm happy to be doing this. I like, I, I've always wanted, I, I enjoyed not sitting down. Sitting down for eight hours on end is one of the worst experiences ever. Uh, and I have a standing desk, but I'm like, when do I ever use it, you know? So I, I'm trying to think of different ways where I don't have to be standing and I can let blood go into my legs. So, like I said, I decided to change the whole format of the show yet again. That's your job. Yeah, you gotta keep the keep that blood going, dude. This is where you live or just a streaming place? Man, I wish I had the uh, money for something like that. Oh! Okay, goodbye. I, um, so I got this thing right here. You might be wondering what the hell this contraption, this IED looking thing is. <laughs> uh, so I found, I was like, how the fuck am I going to change scenes while, while I'm, I'm on this camera? It'd be stupid if I walked over there and was changing scenes, right? It just wouldn't be professional. So I, I found this old phone that I had, this iPhone 6S, and I was like, oh yeah, I could just use that as a channel switcher. So I updated it, and uh, yeah, we're good now. So it's it's basically just being used as that, but the battery for it sucks. So I got this, uh, <laughs> I forgot that I had this battery that Voodoo Ranger gave me, and um, it was still charged, which was awesome. So I slapped it <laughs> into this. This also isn't a mic stand. This is a uh, an old light stand. So there's that. <laughs> My IED mic stand. Well, what's been going on with you guys? Anything cool? Surely something. It's been a week. I don't even know the last time I streamed. I feel like it's been years. Union bullshit. You're getting evicted. I did see that below. I'm very sorry to see uh, to see, to hear about that. It's very stressful. At least it's not like a uh, an eviction that's your... I mean, uh, d don't get me wrong. The situation sucks no matter what. But at least it's not an, uh, an eviction where it's like it's your fault, you know? It's not going to go against you. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of the positives here. That's the only one I got. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to help. I don't know. Building new Harley. That's a very lettuce thing. That's cool, man. Got the hog out. I like Cheer to see 1, it. Cheer 1000. Love Whoa! the new setup. Thank you for sharing some of the new features and things to come. Oh, dude, I haven't even shown anything yet. Thank you so much, Heavy Sitter. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Was in the hospital. Got COVID and a new PC. <clears throat> What's up, Blue? How you doing? Union shit, UTIs. They go hand in hand. Uh, I got some things on the board here that we're going to be going over as far as things that I haven't gotten yet, uh, gotten to yet. I quickly realized when setting up this new setup, as well as some of the scenes and everything, um, why I stopped doing this type of stream in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> and I realized why I stopped doing the show and just became a uh, video game content creator. It's so much easier. You just play Tarkov for six hours, you just slap it together and throw it up. People love it. It's insane. I forgot how much goes into it. I, and that's the full reason why FobTech and I stopped mainly is because I was like, dude, I, I just... It's too much. I can't do this. And I totally understand now why people have like 20 plus people to work on a show. It's insane. If I had a team of 20, this would be... <laughs> This would be fucking insane. It's just me and sometimes Greg. It's awesome. And Greg helps out a lot. I love him to death. Shout out, Greg. That's right. We could have a couch sesh if we wanted. That's the beauty of this. Check this out. <clears throat> Casting couch right here. I can hang out here with you guys. <sighs> I can put my feet up. We can just hang out. 
I can't see any of your chats, but this is something that we do have the option to do now. <sighs> I could take a nap right now. I had a donut this morning. I was a bit of a bad boy. Oh, I know. Me want butt sex. <laughs> Let's get this turtle out of here. I'm not having sex with him. Uh, I had a donut today. I know. I was a little bit of a bad boy. I stopped to buy the grocery store to get my Modelo and my Yingling or whatever it's called. And I was like, should I be a little bit of a bad boy and uh, go get a donut? And I said, hell yeah. And that's what I did. I got a giant cinnamon roll. Is that technically a donut? I guess it's a pastry. <laughs> cinnamon rolls, donuts? <laughs> I don't think so. What categorizes a donut? Does it have to have a hole in it? Is my butthole a donut? Are we all just donuts? Hold on a second. I'm having a Jimmy Neutron brain blast. All right, I can't see Chet. <coughs> no? Okay. All right. Motion Nova. <sighs> I guess, well, some donuts. Oh no, see, this is why I need wireless. It's all tangled up. It's like when you put, it's like when you put a headset in your pocket and it just, everything fucks up. I'm all tangled. How does this even happen? Oh, I know, it's it's not me, it's the wires. <sighs> Posted an in-ear wireless thing in water cooler. Alright, cool. If it's something skull candy, I'm ignoring it completely. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> Is that a raw rolling paper tray on the coffee table? So I'm staring at the same shit on my coffee table. Uh. No. <laughs> nah, it is. It's legal here. Oh, that's another thing that I stopped doing. Um, is uh, I I I quickly realized during this depression state that I was in that the weed was not helping. <laughs> And I think we talked about this a little bit before, but weed is, is, does one or two things to me, right? It can either be a really good experience where I'm thinking positive things, or 80% of the time it goes the complete opposite way where I start overthinking things. And uh, that's basically where it was going. <laughs> so what I did was, I, a lot of you guys are going to hate this, but I, I grabbed all the weed that I had and I threw it away. Um... I woke up one morning <clears throat> and I said, you know what, dude, you need to, and that's when I started, I think that's when I moved the setup. I, I think that's when I moved the setup. I was like, dude, you, you got it. You, this is, I, I saw that it was doing me more harm than good. So I, I took all of it. I threw it away in the trash. I emptied it out. So it was like in gross amounts of trash. So I knew that I wouldn't be able to just pick it out of the trash and smoke it. So it's good to take a small weed break. I'm not saying that I'm done completely. I'm just saying that, you know, in this moment of time that I don't need it. And I feel like I'm doing better without it. I think I think weed is an awesome drug. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I think it's great. Uh, but I, I think in moderation, of course, as, as in anything. So. I definitely think smoking is better than drinking. As I drink a Modelo. <laughs> Unless it's a Voodoo Ranger IPA, of course. Check this lens out, dude. I'm hyped on this lens. You guys can get some ear action. Oh, that's what I was saying. So I got this 12 millimeter camera. That's It's a Rokinon. It's what I usually use for streaming. I love the lens. I've had it for a long time. But it's a manual lens. It's fixed focus, right? So I was like, fuck, man, do I just buy the same lens, but it's just autofocus and have two of them? And I was doing the setup because I have another E-mount. I, I use Sony cams, and I have another um, E-mount one, and it just wasn't letting the amount of light in that I wanted. So I was like, fuck. All right, I'll buy the lens. So I bought it. Alcohol's bad for you. I still drink a ton of it. I'm just acutely aware of how much it's I'm damaging my body. Well, as long as you know what's going on. <clears throat> I guess too much of anything can be bad for you. 
But I am pretty sure I've I've learned what's wrong with me. And we're currently trying to fix it, and we're trying to get our creativity back to the streams. And like I said, I think we have a pretty good foundation as uh, as far as what what's going on here. <sighs> Wouldn't you say so, Paul? Well, I, I, I know what's wrong with you. I happen to know what is wrong with you. What's wrong with me? This, you're sarcastic. Yeah. You're abrupt with the guests. You have the worst toupee in show business. It's all Your it's jokes real. Don't make any I've sense. told you're you this multiple Anton times. Name wrong. There's always a funny smell coming out of your office. You look terrible in tweets. I've been eating a lot of eggs lately. You reek of Mexican aftershave. You do not understand how Hispanic. fractions work. You run in the pool area. You dye your eyes with little hearts. You're obsessed with the glamorous ladies of wrestling. You tend to stereotype I like people, people of Turkish what ancestry. What can I say? For some reason, you buy cut-rate salad dressing. You take your national parks for granted. And it's mean the way you scare the paper boy with a blank pistol. You cut in line in the commissary. You cannot pull off a safari look. Sometimes you start screaming, Ahoy there, mateys, over and over again for no reason at all. You make the interns lose to you during your karate sparring sessions. You hog the remote control. You've thrown away your God-given talent for dancing. I love dancing. You skip on the mayonnaise. You skip on the mayonnaise, and you're as dumb as a post. You giggle when any, when any, whenever anybody mentions the penal code, you giggle. You used to really it's like... It's a funny word! Hall. You bitch and moan about having to work oh, one hour a day, and finally... You insist on calling me Paul, even though my name is actually Frank. <sighs> Penal's a funny word. I like watching the paper boy squirm. What can I say? All right. We got a good show for you guys today. Today we got some viewer voicemails. We got a lot of shit going on. And we are playing Tarkov. Ah! What? from Twitch, it's the Hexloom Show. Get ready for live call Debra, I can't hear this guy. Turn that damn TV off. I've told you so many times. Viewer voicemails and live gaming. <laughs> Get your chat fingers ready. Yeah, 100, yeah, 100. Grab your favorite brew and get ready to immerse yourself in the thrill of the game. How the hell do you do this? Now, here's your host yet again, Hexloom. Hey! Oh, yeah, baby. How we doing? this over. I had to make you guys insanely large. Cheer 100. So I could read you. I have very bad eyesight as you guys as you guys are well aware. Hey team, the Trade Federation told me that your 3% annual pay rate increase is being delayed yet another week. I know, I know, but this is due to someone constantly taking a 10 to 20 poops while operating the crane. Uh, and for the excavator incident, it took what the even, what does this even mean? five hours to clean Barber and Riley Reed's <laughs> meeting. Let's stop this nonsense and know. just get this. I don't know done. who that is, and you can't prove anything Tier 100, otherwise. I am bricked up after watching that. I'm. Oh, I completely forgot about Wordle. Oh yeah, that's a thing that we do. One sec, sorry. I, I forgot multiple tabs. I'll get to all these notifications here. Let me get into them. I gotta go. Oh, God, everything's falling apart. You might be wondering, Hexlum, why do you have so many uh, intros? I, uh... I need time to switch stuff. <laughs> You know what sucked about having all those two is every time that I tried to like fix something, I would have to watch the entire thing because in OBS I couldn't skip it. So I had to watch like it every single time in an entirety. And I was just, at the at the end of that, I, I almost messaged Greg and I was like, is this even cool? I've seen this so many times that I don't even know anymore.
Are you on Cali time? I'm not. Or am I? Uh, put these microphones somewhere safe. There we go. There, that's its new home. I hate wires, man. Please. I need I need wireless everything. All right, gamers. Let's get into Wordle. Let's get I know you guys have been waiting patiently for Wordle. Let's get into some Wordle. Before we get into the the real nitty gritty. Well, let's go over these notifications. I'm so sorry. First and foremost, uh, Talk to the Moon with 18 months. Sim with nine months. That's a baby, baby. Puss Pants with nine months. Tier two sub, by the way. Uh, Toolbox with the 20 months. Below with the 100 bits. Big Daddy David with the 16 months. Neon with 17 months. Wow. Smash with the 100 bits. Colossus with the 100 bits. Bean with the five. Uh, gifted like subs. It, oh shit! Steph with the three months. Heavy sitter with the one thousand bits, dude. Oh my up, god! Guys? The nine fun. I don't. I probably butchered that. Thank you for the hundred bits. Appreciate that. Dead life with the hundred bits. Pinkberry sixty nine. Funny name with the the prime and acid onion with the hundred bits. Love the effort and energy put into the stream. You might not like it, but you love us and it shows. Thank you very much. I do love you guys. I don't I don't want to get you guys having a big ego or anything. But I guess you're all right. <laughs> that was not planned. I uh He's there. <laughs> Did I miss the Gamba? Bro, you're you're like 50 minutes too late. All right, here we go. Audio, we're starting off fresh. All right, we got the A. It's an A word. Hot as shit in here. Should have turned on the AC. See? Check that. I might have turned it off. Sometimes it did my my. I do. I'm like too cold. I'm too hot. I'd, I think I'm. I got menopause. I'm going through it. I'm an old lady. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, agree. Wouldn't that be wild? Uh, dude, my heart's not in it. Do you guys know how to play this game? <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna go with...
<clears throat> it's got to have two A's in it, doesn't it? A last? Is that not a word? <laughs> what is it? Alpha? It can't be alpha. Do, do you guys know how to play this game? Let me uh, explain this to you guys. If you, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of words, and I'm like, why are you even suggesting this? Uh, green means that the letter is in the correct spot. Gray means that the, the letter isn't even in the word. If there, if there is a yellow letter in it, that means that the letter is in the word. However, it does not go in that specific spot. All green obviously would mean that it's it's correct. All right, I, I know. Yeah, it's, Jesus Christ. Try apply. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, maybe it'll be apply. <laughs> Allow? I swear to God. <laughs> what does Greg want? Bit of a void in the bottom right of the cam after we switch to the main computer cam. What? What does that even mean? Oh, I already know this. Don't worry about this. Greg, shut up! Just watch the whole stream first! This fucking guy, dude. You're gonna direct me, pay me. Anal. What? A mass? A maze. Hello, Meg. He's mad because about he's mad about the concrete here. The uh, NBC sitcom. That could be Greg's new NBC sitcom. Mad about concrete. All right, let's pay. Let's pay the non-believers. You know what would be kind of a funny bit that we start doing, though? Is that I pay the believers no matter what the outcome is. How do we feel about this? And it's just going to become a thing. <laughs> you should do that today. I never believe. You didn't even bet anyway. I'm with it. <laughs> All right. I got this thing going on where my crotch is. It's not a boner, I swear. It's fucking pants, dude. <laughs> Fuck off. All right, guys, I, uh, I asked all of you to submit some voicemails. Jesus Christ, do they have a dark mode for this? I love it. Let me just make it smaller. And uh, a lot of you guys send in voicemails. Thank you, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Very big, very large. <clears throat> Actually, quite a bit of them. Very cool. I also now have all of your guys' phone numbers, which was the real reason I did this. <sighs> I'm not even going to play them. I just wanted your phone number. <laughs> I'm just joking. I will play I'm not going to show any of this stuff. Don't fucking worry about it. Maybe I should have this on a different screen, just in case I, for some reason, accidentally... Yeah, maybe I do that. Here, we'll do that. We'll put it up here. That way it won't show even if I accidentally hit the screen share thing. I love you guys very much, and I, uh, I want each and every one of you 
protection. <laughs> Privacy protection. I'm not going to dox anybody. As someone very private about their own personal information. I've probably smacked this tripod I don't know how many times. Is this thing still on? Oh, God. This camera is the bane of my existence. Get over here. Tried to triangulate my triangulate my location. I didn't really have to try that hard. You kind of just didn't. You just didn't blur any of it out. What are you talking about? How's that my fault? You you left the GPS location up of where you were. <laughs> yeah, I'm the idiot. <clears throat> Concrete, concrete. All right, here we go. We got the first voicemail here, guys, from, uh, I don't know who, but uh, th this is this is all from you guys. This is a segment that I used to do way back when on the uh, the stream. I would have, uh, well, technically, I would take viewer voicemails. I would, I would take viewer calls live, and um, it went about as you would expect uh, a live streaming platform <laughs> to go when you have live viewer call-ins. Uh, but it was really fun. And, um, another thing that I always had was, uh, voicemails. And that was something that I suggested to, uh, whenever I was doing, uh, the intros to Gamer Hole, I told them that they should, they should make like a voicemail hotline. So I did that for one of the intros for Gamer Hole back when that was a thing. I, I completely forgot about Gamer Hole. But, uh, that was, so we did that for a little bit, but it was always really fun to do. And it's like, uh, everyone seems to enjoy it. So we got some voicemails here. But the cool thing is, is that through the power of AI, we are we are currently able to um, to get a AI rendering of what this person looks like just based off of the voice, which is insane, right? <laughs> I didn't even know it was a thing. I didn't know that technology has advanced as far as it has, which is truly incredible. So we were able to get an AI rendering. <laughs> Of what this person actually looks like, <clears throat> Greg's right now rushing to the uh, to to the DMs, asking how I acquired this type of te technology. I already know it. <laughs> we need a concrete emote. Don't make this a thing. There's a there's a reason why there's nothing here. All right, this this tripod used to be in frame. It was a lot better. What do you want me to do? Doing my best out here. All right, guys, it's I'm just simply one man. Good morning, Nathaniel. Good morning, chat. It is with tremendous sorrow and beleaguered resolve that I address you today. On Sunday, July 21st, 2024, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. <laughs> announced that he is dropping his campaign for re-election. This is, of course, of no consequence. <laughs> Good riddance. No, no, the consequence rests solely in a bet, a wager that I took with Mr. Loom. 20 U.S. dollars to be paid if President Biden dropped out of the race. <laughs> it should come as no surprise that I bet he would not. And furthermore, attested that he would surely die before he relinquished his pursuit of power. But I was wrong. And now we all suffer the visage of a man bereft of goals and ambition and a man bereft of $20. <laughs> so it is with sobering disbelief that I, OM Gorilla, affirm that I have paid the bet via Stream Elements tips and I've posted the receipt in Discord. Godspeed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We get some 07s in chat for Gorilla. And this is true. Gorilla actually did, in fact, uh, he sent me the money, <laughs> which is insane. I, I didn't show up in here. I would have said it again. I completely forgot. It's not showing up on, on this end. But Gorilla did, in fact, send the 20 bones. I told him he didn't have to, but God damn it. He's a man of his word. And uh, that's something I think we can all we can all respect. 
Is this not the craziest Tarkov stream you guys have ever seen? <laughs> Don't worry. Maybe here, hold on. Before before I get kicked off of this. Okay, we should be good now. <laughs> All right, next voicemail. Hey, it's Porter. Uh, want a hot roof? I'm gonna take a break. Give you guys something to, I don't know, chat about. I'm on a roof. Like I said, it's hot, sweating, Are you masturbating. What is happening? Raccoons, uh, bat proofing. Uh, like a bird shit on my back or a sweat. <laughs> I'm not particularly sure. Um. But yeah, I won't make it there for stream, but have a good one, folks. See you later. Wait, this was back on Tuesday. We weren't having a stream anyways. I saw Porter in here a little bit earlier. Thank you, Porter, for the voicemail. I hope uh, the poop on your back was easy to clean off or whatever. All right, here we go. Uh, next up. They say money doesn't grow on trees. And why do banks have branches? Use your Prime subscription now, Hex Loom. Thank you. I think we need. I think you all need to do what he's asking <laughs> for all of our safety. I think you need to do what he's asking. They say money doesn't grow on trees. Who was that? I have no idea. It doesn't give me names. It just gives branches. me phone numbers. Use your Prime subscription now. Hex Loom. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. There we go. That that might need to be a sound redemption, to be honest. All right, here we go. Uh... <laughs> uh, hi, yes, this is Michael from the... Big PP Club of America. This is uh, a message for Mr. Hex Loom. Yes, we've received your application to be a member of the Big PP Club of America, and unfortunately, we are having to decline your application. Ah, come on. As it turns out, you have a very small PP. Um, I'm sorry, but I wish you the best on your search for a club for a respective. Uh, PP size. Um, I hope you have a blessed day. I got kicked out of the small PP club. I'm gonna have to go to the micro PP club. Thank you very much for the call. I appreciate that and letting me know. Uh, a little embarrassing, but that's okay. <sighs> yeah, not according to these overalls. All right. Uh, next up. What's up, Hex? What's up, Chat? Uh. Uh, can we get some waters in the TTS? Oh shit! Can we get some waters in the TTS? What? Um, Watto. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Wattos. Yeah, can we get some Wattos in the chat? Well, thank you very much for the call. I appreciate that. It's not easy calling in, guys, and knowing that you're being recorded. I understand uh, completely. All right, here we go. Oh. Hey, Hex. Hey, it's it's Tough Till Moon, Mayo Queen. And as you sent that message, I am quite literally sitting here eating my tuna mayo sauce. Is that a Discord thing? And as you sent that message, I Oh, no. (laughs) Wait, she's... Wait, who's calling? Oh no, here we go. This is take that sounds taking me back, dude. Hello, yes, you're live on the show. Hello? Yes. Hi, yeah, so you're never gonna be able to tell who this is from the accent. I'm just calling to make sure everything's all good with your Medicare part A and B. Ah, oh, laddie. Part A and B uh, is doing boy, just boy. fine. Thank you. Uh, good, good, good. Hey, listen, I just want to say, I love you. I love chat. Fuck you, Greg. Goodbye. 
<laughs> the man just paid fifty dollars for that phone call. That was incredible. Wow. A live call in. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's listen to this moon voicemail from the beginning. Hey Hex. Hey, it's 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 Tofsil Moon, Mayo Queen. Mayo um, Queen, everybody. Mayo I think Queen. I that message. I am quite literally sitting here eating my tuna mayo pasta. <laughs> Love and life. Uh, you should definitely try it. Uh-uh. Uh, to spoil yourself on pasta. That mayo in there because you get so much mayo. Oh. <laughs> and tuna. Tuna. That that could be a food lab. Actually, that might be a good food lab. Would you be down to uh, coach me through making a mayo pasta, Moon? Would you be the uh, the top chef and I'll be the little sous chef? You're basically taking over DB's part. DB's f- too busy doing actual food lab stuff. But DB will definitely make... I know that he's going to be pissed. <laughs> he's going to be like you're doing food. It's like, listen, dude. The food lab thing was mine always. Yes, you would? Okay, awesome. This is great. I'm excited for it. This is going to be sick. All right. <clears throat> we'll put it on the board. Thank you very much for the call in. All right, next next call. Here we go. Transcription not available. This scares me. Okay, here we go. All right. You got me. Luckily, I like this song. So... Isn't that just tuna macaroni salad? Yeah, probably. It's going to be the fastest stream ever. <laughs> probably. It's going to be fucking pasta and mayo. And I guess tuna. All right, here we go. We got somebody else here. Thank you for the call. I appreciate that. And, and the tunes. Hey, uh, hey, chat. So I need some help. So I just moved to this new place. And there's this farm by where I'm living. I, I think it's Illuminati. Um, does anyone know what, like... An octopus symbol on multiple signs outside of the farm could possibly mean. Uh, I'm wondering if there's, like, aliens and shit in there. Like, should I – I'm. A, I kind of want to go, like, talk to them, but, like, I'm afraid to. So, like, there could be cryptids. There could be aliens. There's, like, four signs outside of this, like, farmhouse that are just, like, octopuses. Does anybody know what's going on with that? <laughs> Love you. Bye, chat. <laughs> we never heard from them again. I, I moved to a new place. There's a farm where I'm living. I think it's Illuminati. Does anyone know what octopus symbol, multiple signs outside of the farm could mean? What is that? Yeah, it sounds like Cthulhu. Cthulhu? Cthulhu? What is that? I'm surprised no one's used their one prison phone call on you yet. I'm surprised so, too. I can get them out of a jam. It's a hentai club. All right. What's up, man of meat? The sex club. Maybe a tentacle porn place? I don't know. Yeah, why don't you just go there and ask? Could be interesting. Let us know. Unless... Oh, wait, you called again. Hold on. Wait, maybe maybe we have some more information on this. Hey. It's your boy. <laughs> I'm laying down to take a nap, and I've eaten some edibles, and... <laughs> this explains a lot. All right. Uh... I forgot why I called. I was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> I... This is a... <laughs> this is the same person, by the way, uh, from the last call. This is this the same person that was very... These sound like two completely different people. <laughs> if you put these side by side, I probably wouldn't even know they're the same person. This is... Uh... Hold on. Let's re-listen to this. Hey... It's your boy. <laughs> I'm laying down to take I a like nap that he doesn't even I've say his name. Guys, start edibles. saying your names. Unless and... you're doing some kind of funny character. Uh... Same here, Schmark. They always hit you like a freight train, don't they? Don't they? 
Edibles is a different breed entirely, man. I forgot what I called. I was going to say something, but I forgot. It happens to the Bye. best of us. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for the phone call. I appreciate that. How does the phone line work? Well, if you've ever used uh, any type of phone before, it's basically the same thing. <clears throat> uh, we got another phone call here. Hey, Hex and Chat. This is House of Triumph here. I just wanted to let y'all know that I'm on vacation. Um, I mean, y'all can suck it at your jobs. Uh, anyways, kiss the <laughs> homies tonight. Commit tax evasion when you can. Yep. And uh, Q100! <laughs> Can and uh, Q100! 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 That made the end of that even better. Thank you so much. Uh, Triumph. Very good phone call. I like that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Q100. Yes. <laughs> I see what the transcript is of this, and I'm interested to see what this, how this says. Get off e-site, bitch. I don't know why, but this just seems like it might be Jess. I've never heard Jess's voice ever, but if I was to guess the, uh, what Jess sounds like, this is the type of person that I would assume <laughs> that Jess sounds like. I'm just saying. I actually don't know if this is actually her or not. Get off e-site, bitch. All right. Thank you very much. All right. We got uh, we got someone else here. Here we go. We've literally spoken. Have we? Listen, the other day, I didn't even realize that we were friends on Discord. I was like, how did you even send me a message? <clears throat> Apparently, six months ago, we became friends. I think we were going to play Hunt, and then we never did. What the fuck is Jess? <laughs> All I know is Meg. Oh, that's right. She played Battlefield. Damn, I completely forgot about the Battlefield 4 days, guys. We need to bring that back. <clears throat> Why did we stop doing that? It cost money, didn't it? Or something? Something cost money. And uh, I think the server costs money, right? Plus, there's like no support for it. Did we move on to Battlefield 2042 or what? What are we doing now with that? Valid had to pay for it. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, because you sat on eSight. No, it was a big brain play. You guys had no idea where we were. Greg had to cheat in order to know where I was. Greg had, we said no thermals, and Greg went immediately to thermals, and then you guys found out where I was. So, if it wasn't for that, I would have, <laughs> I literally was not moving. eSight, eSight. All right, here we go. Next, next voicemail here. Hello, this is Ryan Woods. I'm trapping <laughs> Hello, this is Ryan Woods. I'm trapped in a trunk. Please, please let me edit for you. I'm trapped in a trunk. Please let me edit your videos. Go look at my videos. It's Wooden with Dabby on Instagram and, 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 and Ryan Woods on Beatdance. Please go make fun of me and judge me. I'm trapped in a trunk. Please, this is not! <laughs> Is this an actual person? <laughs> is this real? What is it? Woody with Debbie on Instagram? Is this a real thing? Woody with Debbie? Is this a joke that I don't get? Woody with Debbie. There's a Debbie Woody. <laughs> is this the person? This lady's trapped in a in a trunk. <laughs> what? Hello, this is Ryan Woods. I'm trapped in a trunk. Please, please let me edit for you. I'm trapped in a trunk. Please let me edit your videos. Go look at says my Ryan videos. Woods is a musical it's artist. Wooden with Dabby on Instagram and, 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 and Ryan Woods on Beatdance. Please go make fun of me and judge me. I'm trapped in a trunk. Please let me die. Something tells me that this AI rendering of this person is not is not accurate. I don't know. All right, thank you guys very much for the uh, those call-ins.
That's that's the end of the call-in so far. However, we are getting a live call-in from somebody. <clears throat> oh. Hello. Hello, who is this? Hi, this is Lynette with the Medicare Department of Healthcare Benefits. How are you today? I'm doing well. How can I help you? I haven't made the scam call scene yet. Before Greg starts fucking throwing a fit, I haven't made it yet. I got a million other things to do. Hearing and over-the-counter benefits. Now, I believe you do have Medicare Part A and B, correct? Yes. Okay, this is all the information that I needed from my side to check your eligibility, and it does look like you qualify. I'm going to get a licensed agent to get you some more details. Give me just a second, please. Okay. Too much for holding on. This is Sam Carter on the recorded line. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. How can I help you? Oh, uh, well, this call is about. Hello, who is this? Medicare body plan options with our license insurance agent. So, how old are you? I'm 75 years young. Okay, and uh. Uh, you do have the Medicare Part A and B, correct? Correct, yes. I merged two. There's two calls okay, involved right now. The other one's not talking. Last name. I'm sorry, what? Uh, how do you spell your first and last name? Oh, not not to worry. First name is Jack, and that go, that's J. Uh, hello. Did you hang up? <laughs> I think you hung up. All right, he hung up. I, I think they're starting to ask what my name is, and if it's not the name that they have on file, they immediately are like, "No, they, uh, we're not. We're not dealing with this guy." The pause kills me. I think the pause always kills the uh, the phone call. <clears throat> Perhaps. I don't know. We'll have to. Uh, we'll have to work on that. Yeah, I'm working on a, uh, we got, we got a lot of stuff on the board. Should we go over to the board and check it out? We can discuss some things that are coming to the stream. Or would you guys rather just be surprised? Uh, we can go over some stuff. The board, the board, to the board, concrete, concrete. You should do a bit where you call a viewer instead. Cheer 100. <laughs> I've done that before. We've, uh, Fobtech and I did a stream once where we called in sick to work at places that we didn't work at, but we would choose places that we knew enough about so that they were incredibly confused. So, like, we knew how the operations of the, uh, the, the place worked. Uh, his was Hot Topic. <laughs> and, uh, we got him to be really fucking confused. And then I was like, well, what if we called different countries? Hey, yeah, so we would, we would call Japan and try to call in sick to work. People were very confused. Risky? For what? Oh, J what, Japan on the phone? Uh, yeah, Japan's calling. Alright, come with me to the board. Focus on me, god damn it. I know you can see my hand. Don't ever buy this camera. It's an Insta 360 cam. Don't buy it. Do not buy it. I repeat, do not buy this camera. <clears throat> it's more paint. It went back to my desk, didn't it? Oh, you son of a bitch. It blinks and then it doesn't do it. Jesus fucking Christ. All right. Let's take a look at the board. 
All right, we got to board you. These are all the things that I was able to accomplish in the past couple of days. You might be thinking... Wow, that doesn't look like a lot. This fucking camera, I swear to God. <laughs> Get over here! Got me saluting the flag over here. Come on. All right, stay. Good boy. All right. These are some of the things that I put up. First, we had the new set up the new cameras. So far, all the cameras are pretty much set up. How's the is the microphone too loud? It feels too loud in my ears. Hello. I hate these cables. Not loud. Perfect. Okay, good. Can we get a zoom? Yes. Give me one second. Just. I'm just a lady in tentacle porn right now. <laughs> stay. Stay. Good. You might be able to see the board. You might not. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to be talking about it anyway. <clears throat> I need a... Oh! <laughs> All right. First, we had set up the cameras. This was the 360 cam and the new cam. This camera. Uh, is this thing still on? I actually don't know. I should probably have this over here so I can control stuff. It, the, what the cool thing with this Voodoo Ranger battery pack is that it just stays on all day and then I just charge it at the end of the night. My electricity bill is going to be through the roof. I already saw what my last electricity bill was. I don't even know why it was that high. I'm starting to think, I don't know what it was. So we had this camera still. How's this camera look? I think next up is I need more monitors, dude. I need more monitors up in this bitch. Check it out. Modelo, Modelo, <clears throat> Modelo uh, pocket. All right. It's really not imperative that you guys see this. Now, I first had the July sub legends up here because I was going to be, um, I was going to be putting all of you guys on this. We can actually back this up a bit. Stop. Good. Uh, and this quickly, I realized that I wanted to do a bunch more stuff. So this was kind of the beginning and uh, it, it doesn't matter. Anyways, so we have all the cameras. They pretty much are set up. However, we will be setting up even more cameras. I got tons of webcams from... <laughs> Just too many webcams. I don't even have enough outlets. All right. Uh, this is done. Start making new intro. We did that. We made the new intro, which was the intro that you guys saw. There's the bonsai intro, and then the other intro. We did the voicemail scenes. Work on reflect scene uh, featuring Greg. <clears throat> you guys might not know what this is yet. Uh, this comes later. That's like an end of the stream treat. So if you want to see that, stick around. <laughs> Sick. All right. Uh, that's all done. And uh, that's that's good to go. Now, scam caller pop-up screen, that still has yet to be done. Uh, I didn't do it yet. But it, it's coming. It'll probably be done over this weekend, to be honest. I have the template ready. It's just not done yet. Now, what does this mean? Also, I had to use the uh, the grip thing, that, which is going to eventually wrap around this, uh, the mic stand, so that I can still play games if they call, and then we can still take scam callers. And what's going to happen is it'll go to the screen, and there will... I, what camera am I on? And then it will, there'll be a timer up top that restarts every single time, so that way uh, we can also time the uh, how long we're on the call. <clears throat> Pretty cool stuff, I think. All right, so... This is all stuff that's this future stuff right down here. A couple of things. There's still other things on the board. We haven't even gotten to the backside of this board yet. <laughs> uh, backside is where all the real gems are. Uh, first of all, we're, we're going to have a chat camera POV fight scene. Um, what this means is that you guys are going to have your own camera, basically, and your own arms. And if we ever uh, have any kind of uh, disagreements... Uh, we are going to fight. <laughs> 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 
And uh, that's actually the scene that I already had written down, which is perfect that Jess sent me something uh, that will probably be used towards a transition uh, into said fight scene. So, should be some good stuff going on there. I'm very excited for that. Yeah, Jess is an incredible fighter. <laughs> uh, we got uh, Greg's word of enc- words of encouragement. Um, this will be a segment on the stream where Greg will, uh, if we're feeling down or whatever, Greg is going to be uplifting us. That's right. That's uh, Greg Bjorkman, hit director of such films on Hulu Press Play. <clears throat> I need to incorporate FobTac somehow in this stream. We got to bring FobTac back. We'll figure it out. I'm not worried about it. Hello? Hello? Yeah, who is this? It's Mark. How are you doing today? Mark, I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for asking. How can I help you today? Actually, I'm calling to let you know for new low cost, final expense insurance plan. So, just for calling, fine purpose, how old are you? 75. Uh, 75 years 75. young. Oh, yeah, perfect. So in the age of 75, you make your decisions by yourself, right? For the most part, yes. Okay. And by the way, you're residing in the beautiful state of New Mexico, right? Nope. I'm not, unfortunately. Which I, you? I, I, I'm getting to that, Mark. Hold on. I, I'm living in Kentucky now. Beautiful state. Have you ever been there? Yeah, I went there. Oh, you've Should been there? go down there? There's a lot of snow. Yeah. When it is not right now, but during what? the winter time it snows every once in a while. Just like many other states. What's your zip what's your zip code in New Mexico? Mark, I don't live in New Mexico. <laughs> I've told you so many times okay, already. Okay. I live in Kentucky. Kentucky. What's your zip code in Kentucky? Sure. Are you ready? Four two Zero. Six. Nine. Okay. Four two zero six nine. Yep. Okay. And by the way, do you have any like diabetes, COPD, HIV, or something else? I do not. I am the best. No, not that I know words. of. Anyway, I have. Some would say I have quite the best time pointer finger I've in actually town. Been to the doctor, but uh, wait, is this the hospital? Is this uh, Doctor Cream? No, no, it's about final expenses. Right now, I'm just providing your information. Okay. Oh, this isn't Doctor Cream. So just no. give me. So just. So just give me a rough idea. Do you believe in burial, cremation, or a good funeral? Well, uh, it's kind of a touchy subject, but uh, being a man of God, I believe in heaven. Yes. Are you a man of God? Are you a man of God, Mark? Mark, are you a man of God? Yeah, all good. Yes. How do you pronounce your first name? First name is Jack. Do you need to know the spelling? No, no, what's your last name? Death. Not, not, hold on a second, Mark. It's not D-E-A-T-H. It's spelled completely differently. It's not like death, you're dead. It's, it's just death. Do you need to know how that's spelled? <laughs> okay, you me out. D. Did you get that? Mark, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. E? Hi. Mark? T? H? Hello? Who is this? 
Hello? Yeah. Hi, this is Michael with Medical Alert. How are you? Great. God bless you. Mark? What are you saying? Speak, speak up. Mark? Who is that? Yeah, I'm here. I don't know. Who's that guy? Must have gone. I don't know. Core worker? Are you okay, Mark? How can I help you? You seem... Yeah, I'm okay. Mark, you seem stressed. How can I help you today? Jack, Jack, listen to me. Listen to me, Jack. Right now, I'm just providing you information. I'm listening. On the what you got? So just simply check out the benefits. Check out the plans. Okay. The bank? You, I thought this was the hospital. If you like... No, not a bank. It's about final expenses. Oh. A whole life insurance. I didn't know banks sold that now. I do have a checking account. I guess I can hand that over. Okay. So right now, Jack, I'll just provide you information for the final expenses, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah, so without wasting your time, I'm going to transfer your call to my licensed agent. Even if your number is on, I need to not. Sure. Okay. And do tell them, Jack, you want to check out the benefits for the final expenses, okay? So they're going to help you and provide you information, okay, Jack? Sounds good. Thank you. Michael, you've been, uh, I feel like you're an angel sent from heaven to me. God bless you. I hope you reach, reach the pearly gates and aren't sent to the bowels of hell. Okay. All right. Okay, and do tell them you make your decisions by yourself and you want to check out the benefits for the final expenses, okay? Yep. Okay, Jack. Yep. Okay. Yep. So, Wait, are you transferring my call? What is happening, Mark? I don't understand what's going on. I'm an old man. You got to help me out here. Hard of hearing. Can you speak yeah, up? Thanks. Yeah, thanks for holding. This is Dominic. How are you today? Dominic. Is that you? Hey, where'd Mark yeah. go? Who are you? He transferred to me, sir. Your call has been transferred to me regarding some final expense. Oh, fine. I hope I didn't Imagine do anything there. wrong. Huh? Oh, I got oh, transferred. I hope I didn't say anything wrong to him. He seemed like a very nice gentleman. I just, I, I don't know. How can I help you? Oh, he mentioned I, something about, I, uh, I don't know, being with the bank. I don't know what's going on. Maybe you can uh, better help me understand, Dominique. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, somebody transferred to me, and this guy is about final expense insurance plan, and you mentioned to my associate you are 75 years young man, right? You're, oh, <laughs> years young. I like what you did there. Uh, it doesn't feel like it some days, but uh, I, don't, I don't want you ratting me out or anything, Dominique, but I am 75. I'm, I'm talking with Mr. Jack Baum. Baum? No, Death. My last Jordan. name's Death. I, I spelt it for him in every D E T H. D E T H? Jack Death. Okay. And Jack, you make your own financial decisions. You don't need to have from family member and your dog, right? Yep. What is your date of birth, Mr. Jack? Uh, it's four. Twenty. Nineteen forty-nine. I know what you're thinking. I can't believe there was a year that far back. <laughs> oh God! I'm one oh, step I... closer to the edge, Dominique, and I'm about to break. And you are. That's about four six nine. That's correct. That's my zip code, correct, yes. And you are in Kentucky? 
Yep, beautiful state. Very humid, though. When you walk through outside in the summer, it feels like you, you're a butter knife and the air phone, is butter. Your phone number is... I knew that was coming, Dr. DJ. I knew that was coming. That's correct. Hello? Huh? Okay. That's correct, yes. And... Okay, and you are a non-smoker, and you don't have any major health problem. And Mr. Jack, as you know, this car is about final expense insurance plan, commonly used for towards traditional barrier cremation, and other final expenses. What final expense you have in mind? Do you need more towards cremation, more towards traditional barrier, or just other final expense you want to cover? Well, as a man of God, Dominique, I uh, believe in heaven, and... Uh... I don't know if I need all of that. Can what what do I need that stuff for? I feel like my body when I die it will be transported to heaven and I will live with Jesus and the angels. What do you believe? Are you looking for insurance or just wasting my time, sir? Wasting your time? I didn't call you. I did not call you. Who called me? Who called who? I did not call you. Somebody transferred to me. Oh, well, I didn't call them. I'm interested. So, uh, so you are interested in some prenup and value policy? Prenups, yes. You said what now? Huh? You said what now? I what? Dominique, you're not making any sense. I said, are you interested in final expense whole life insurance? That Dominique, I I'm hard. I, I, Dominique, I apologize. I'm hard of hearing. You got to speak up. I said, if you interested in final expense whole life insurance, that I can help you with. Can you say all of that again, but perhaps in, in song form? To your favorite tune. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I yeah, might later. I don't know. All right, I'm going to get back to my show. All right. Well, we at least wasted a little bit of their time. Uh, and that's, that's, that's time well spent, I think, where they're not talking to somebody else and scamming them. All right, back to what we were originally talking about before we were rudely interrupted. Uh, so chat will, will eventually get their own scene. Do we need to zoom in a bit, or is this good? Just a tad. I want it to move to the left. Okay, wait, I, I can do this. I can do this myself. I guess that would be the right. I, I guess it's not imperative that you guys see what's going on on this. There's too much concrete in the scene! <laughs> There's too much concrete! All right, who am I, guys? Uh, uh, basketball trash can. This is something that I'm very excited about. Basketball trash can. Now, what this is going to be is uh, a trash can with that I throw trash in, and it's going to have its own cam. Does this sound stupid? It's supposed to be. It's going to be really a really dumb scene. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm going to put a camera on it. But don't worry. The way that I envision it should be kind of funny. What happens when I make a basket? Uh, crowd clapping. I did that today. We got the boo. Uh, reflection delayed track. That's all good. Body cam. This is something I'm going to be very excited about. We're eventually going to have a body cam strapped to me. Um, this will mainly probably be used during food lab segments. <sighs> Um, I'm trying to figure out how to slap a GoPro to my chest so that I can also connect it to OBS. I'm pretty sure there's got to be a way. It's, I, I'm almost positive it, there's a way to do it. I'm talking to this camera like it's the camera that's on. There's got to be a way to do it. I'm sure that there is. And I know, well, I know there's a chest rig. I mean, I, I'm talking more about the technology behind it. But yeah, we, we, we can do that. Uh, so we'll have a body cam also for recording purposes. All right, here is the... 
Here's another side. Make sure there's no doxing stuff on here. I actually didn't check. Hold on. Hex is lying. He's got me hovering up by the ceiling, holding this fucking camera up. Cheer 100. Okay, I think we're okay. All right, this is this is some other stuff that we got going on here. Don't worry about this blood trunk stuff. I, I left it on here. This is back when I, I did blood trunk and I was making sure I got all the tracks and... Uh, don't worry about it. It's, it's, some of this stuff is super old and it just... It's been on here so long that it doesn't come off. All right. Over here is where the, the real... Some, some of this stuff is. Uh, you Rubik's Cube stream? Uh, I'm a big this I, what's funny is we were talking about this today, but I actually had this on the the board I don't know how long ago Rubik's cubes are one of the hardest things to do in the world uh, This is just a fact and anyone that can do them in like less than 10 seconds is an actual freak and uh, Should probably be studied by scientists in a lab and somehow we should probably develop some kind of liquid that we can drink uh, Maybe their blood or something. I don't know so that we can also become crazy math freaks uh, so we're gonna have a Rubik's Cube stream where the stream doesn't end until I finish the Rubik's Cube This might turn into a subathon type situation as I don't know how to do Rubik's Cubes. I don't I've watched a couple of the um, YouTube videos how you're supposed to like get the daisy or some shit. I don't know Math lab. Yeah math lab I've, uh, one day I was working on this, uh, relatively in the dark, and I, I thought I had gotten pretty much all of the white pieces together, and, uh, then I realized that I was, I was sitting under a red light, and I realized that it was actually this, <laughs> <laughs> which was not most of the white pieces, so I was, in fact, wasting my time. Uh, so that might th that should be an interesting stream, but I got to gear up for that because that's probably going to turn into a sleep stream and me trying to figure out how the fuck to do Rubik's Cube because I do not know how to do one and it's going to upset a lot of people who do know how to do Rubik's Cubes. That's besides the point. Um, oh, some of this stuff is for the other side. I didn't even realize. <clears throat> Cheer 100. Can Ooh, you switch some of this to stuff the God I don't want to talk about. I'm a visual learner and can't hear what you're saying if I can't see the words. Yeah? Well, that's okay. It doesn't matter anyway, because we're done. So that's basically some of the stuff that's going to be coming. There's a lot more um, ideas that I have for streams themselves, but I don't want to say what they are because based on track record, sometimes people do them, and then I feel like I can't do them. <laughs> so... We'll move that back. I think it's time that I... I think it's time that I try this Yingling beer out. Oh, we're getting low with it. All right. Let's see what this beer's all about, baby. Too many cables. Cheer 100. Are you controlling that camera with your mind? What you think? You are some kind of Jedi? Waving her hand around like that. I'm a Tardarian. Mind tricks don't work on me. Only money. Thank you very much, Colossus. Thank you, Beanie Queen, for the bits. Thank you for the bits below. Castle Pie with the 11 months. And that's... Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to try a new beer. For far too long, people have said, this is the beer of America. Some people think it might be Anheuser-Busch. For the love of God, camera, Nasty work nurse for me. gifted a tier one sub to Beaker underscore. Yes. Ying. M 
Am I saying this right? I don't know. Am I saying this right? I don't know. Dreaming. In the Tarkov category, but I'm not playing Tarkov. Don't go back to the computer. Oh, ah, my ears. <laughs> oh, fuck. I lost connectivity to the Matrix, but we're back. Do I not buy this the camera. Green milk out of a space cow straight from the tap. Better than every beer. It's an in Insta Cam. Insta I just talked into the beer. It's an Insta Cam 360. Don't ever buy it. I get a lot of shit for this. This is better than the Modelo. Not as good as a Voodoo Ranger, but better than a Modelo. It's smoother than Modelo. And I hate saying that, but it, it, it's just a fact. Yeah, there goes the Modelo sponsor. I'm sure it was coming. I'm sure Kings was on that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Kings really was on that. You know what I love about this stream so far today? We haven't played a lick of Tarkov. <laughs> I haven't played one video game yet. Uh, plus 10 to the Voodoo sponsor. That's right. There's nothing better than a voodoo ranger on a cold day, let me tell you. I just don't want to be... Uh, I, I don't want to be on the ground thrashed after one beer, you know what I'm saying? That's good. Voodoo's good for that. I've, how did this happen? Cheer 100, gotta get in on that Cutwater stuff. Shit goes way too sneaky hard. Also, can we get Duke Nukem TTS? Would go insane. Duke Nukem TTS, huh? Yeah, we can add that. What does Duke Nukem sound? We gotta get some wire. We we gotta get some wireless stuff going on in here. This is actually actually insane. <sighs> ah. All right, concrete cam. Can we get some concrete in the chat? Ah, there's too much concrete in this shit. <sighs> Do we have to play Tarkov? I guess we kind of have to. I am streaming in the Tarkov category. All right, I'll boot it up. Dark Souls 3? Don't worry, we're going to be doing some Dark Souls streams. Noodle, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Shark Knife, thank you for the 19 months. Wait, are these up to date? Castle Pie with a tier 2 sub. Thank you again, man. Porter with the 100 bits. 
I think we're all caught up. Ketamine! Whoa, head notice. <clears throat> I think, too, this this looks better uh, when it's darker. It's a little bright out. Uh, whenever I get these blocked off, I think I have a pole. I have a pole coming in to, for the blackout curtains. The pole that I had in the other room wasn't long enough, unfortunately. You lifted a sub? What does that mean? Oh, you gifted one? Why isn't it showing up in my feed? I'm not doubting you by any means. Thank you very much, uh, Nasty, for the gift sub. Honestly, anybody could have told me anything and I would have believed you. Oh, no, I see it here. Nasty, thank you for the gift, uh, the gift sub. I appreciate that. It shows up in my Twitch one, but it doesn't show up in the Stream Labs one. I don't, or Stream Elements one. I don't know why. What does Greg want? <laughs> Concrete emote. Anyways, this is the uh, the foundation of the new stream. What do you guys think? Dig so in the new setup, doggy. Oh, okay. Excited Instant to see answers. Exciting. There we go. I love that. Thank you very much. Red Hot Buckshot. Appreciate that, gamer. Thank you for the eight months. Cool and hip. I think it's um, it's a good foundation for some good stream ideas that we're going to have in the future. Today was kind of like a... Uh, well, it's not over yet, but today was... Um, What are those called? Soft openings? Rehearsals? I don't know what they're called, but yeah. Lighting is excellent. It's definitely a lot brighter than usual, right? But I feel like uh, I, and maybe, you know, that's the change that we need. Maybe a bit more, a bit more brighter. Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely a lot more open, and I don't feel like I'm in a closed cave anymore, which I think was a big, a big thing for me in the other room where the stream setup used to be. So now I just have a room that's full of trash and uh, boxes. <laughs> and I still have the soundproofing stuff up in there, but whatever. Yeah, it's a little goon cave now. This would be a good setup for a subathon. Get some, uh, someone trying to do a kickflip in the background. I like that you said something about that. I do plan on maybe in the future having like musical guests on the show. Uh, on the stream and uh, that that'd be kind of cool like it ends the stream with like a musical guest or something I have a couple of people in mind so I think that would be that would be pretty cool or uh, whenever the stuff that I wrote in New Mexico or for when I went full out to New Mexico um, maybe I fly out my friend Donnie and then we can do a live a live show and um, we play it for you guys that would be kind of cool too if he can't make it I'll probably just play the guitar parts for it he's been going doing some uh, sadly a bunch of uh, health issues came up so he's been a little slow finishing the rest of the tracks with vocals but should be done damn a DJ John collab I would love that Ugh. Get him spinning the discs in the back. Have an actual, you know, musical uh, co-host. I would love something like that. I thought about that as well. We'll figure it out. I'm very excited. Ugh. Where's Paul Blart? He's on the waiting. He's waiting for you. Yingling at this hour? Dude, brother, I've already had 24 ounces of Modelo. Yeah, I gotta say, this is a lot smoother than... Yeah, this is a lot smoother than a uh, Modelo. Hey, 
Hello, this is Ryan Woods and Tracking the Trunk. Please, please let me edit for you. I'm trapped in a trunk. Please let me edit your videos. Go look at my videos. It's Wooden with Dabby on Instagram and, 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 and Ryan Woods on Beat Dance. Please go make fun of me and judge me. I'm trapped in a trunk. Please let it die! Whoa! Holy shit! Look how many slots we have for GPUs, boys! Oh, I know what we're doing today, guys. It's the return of the Bitcoin Cowboy. I did a video a while back where we were Bitcoin Cowboys, and goddamn, I think we might need a return. That's hot. This costs... I can't even imagine how much this fucking costs to keep alive. Jesus Christ. Do these actually turn on? Ooh, fans aren't moving. I don't feel like it's real. Tarkov devs, fix this. First and foremost, it's time to work out. Oh, yeah. The lack of Eugene is surprising. I'm surprised, too. I would think that that would be up his alley. I don't know what he's up to. Eugene is a mysterious creature. Oh, God. All right. What the fuck? But you know what? We didn't break an, our arm. Oh my god, we're gonna be so strong after this. Oh, f how did I miss that? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ha, <laughs> fuck! <gasps> Alright, good workout. Looks like we did a scav case here. Watch out. Wow, a bunch of literal actual trash. I'm never doing any of those again. That was the redemption thing. It it, it didn't help. Whatsoever. What's green and fuzzy has four legs and would kill you if it fell from a tree. What? What? A pool table. You're not wrong. Locked up. Thank you for the one year, baby. One whole year. Wow. Eugene still refuses to fight me in Elden Ring, by the way. I just want everyone to know. <sighs> Easy one mil. With our Bitcoin profits, what I like to do is go over here to our main man, Jaeger. We get a little bit of fuel. We dump it in here. Boom. Now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think that Labs is free. Uh, GeForce Experience. Hey, did Aqua have that tournament? He was playing uh, Hearthstone or something, right? What is happening? GeForce experience. No, 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 no. Don't update. No, 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 no. Stop. Do not update the drivers. I swear to God. Oh, no. Ah, Jesus. Uh, we're still alive, right? Uh, also, uh, are there any electrical engineer freaks in the chat? I need to ask a question. 
Um, this wasn't a problem before, but uh, I had a different cable that ran to my headphones. This, uh, this is just a physical representation of it. I had a different one, and I never heard any buzzing. And I don't think you guys can hear the buzzing, but I think I do. But now I have a different cable, which was from like Amazon, because uh, it was longer so I could move around more. Um, there's like a tiny bit of buzzing now that I didn't hear before. But <clears throat> the funny thing is, is when I touch my computer <laughs> or my stream deck, it goes away. What does that mean? Ground loop? What do I need to do? Bad ground in the cable. Does this mean that I should just get a different cable? Electricity? Thank you, Greg. Hello? Hello? Yes, who is this? Hi, my name is Cyrus. How are you doing today? Oh, Cyrus, are you... Uh, I'm doing wonderful, thank you. Are you at the hospital with the results? Cyrus, Cyrus went bye bye. Oh no, he's still on the phone. Oops. Well, <laughs> thought he gave up. All right, Cyrus brain loading. You might need a ground loop isolator. Are we talking about a three point five millimeter jack? Yes. However, like I said, with the other cable, it didn't. It didn't do that. It's not like, it's obviously not noticeable when I'm playing music and stuff, but when I'm not playing anything, I notice it, and I notice it immediately, um, and I realize that it's something to do with this cable. Is it the cable, or is it something else? I just don't know. I don't know if there are any, uh, you know, you guys wanted to flex that on me or something. I'm moving playlists. Oh, speaking of this, did Aqua have that tournament, or what? Did he win? Let's see what our boy's doing. I forget what time it was going to be at. Oh, it might be done. By the way, here we go. Is he winning? Not. I haven't gotten a lot of um, sunscreen, though, unfortunately. Sunscreen? <sighs> Is he winning? I have no idea what this means. Is the blood, like, their health? That's not good. <laughs> okay. Cease your quarrel at once. Come on, Aqua, you got this. That doesn't seem good. He's got a little lifeguard. Miniature. He's got a little windy peppercorn here. Thing. This might be good for us. And see Meaning him. Here. He's practicing against his pro. Okay, so they're not talking right now. He's in loser's bracket right now. Let me Absolutely killing it. You can do it. Thank you, Notice. I'm trying. <sighs> trying very hard. I don't have a whole lot of Red guard, is their health. He's getting his booty concerning. touched right now. And I oh, also okay. don't have a lot of things that I need. I'm not going to lie. I've been playing a lot of online Pokemon lately. I built a really fun poison deck from scratch. And uh, it's been, it's kind of like a troll deck. And it's been really fun playing that <laughs> online. Uh, not going to lie. I like magic a lot, but magic can be kind of too much. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's fun. It's, it's X definitely a really nice strategy yeah, game. Don't yeah, rat me yeah. out. Be reborn in I'm trying to do anything so to not watch Tarkov. <laughs> Who ratted? Oh, God. Uh, magic is awesome. Uh, and I love the artwork. I think Magic has the best artwork in any kind of, you know, trading card game. Mm, uh, but it can be a, a little bit too much sometimes. I'd be okay if I, like, got some cards that I need. Like, like the one, the AoE thing. Ban them. Like, where, where is my... Uh, Arcos would strength. unban them really in, in three seconds. Oh my god. 
Ran out of time, maybe? This isn't looking too good for him. I don't know how to play this, but I can just kind of tell it's not looking too good. Gene <laughs> Wilkers, I can't imagine how nervous you were waiting for the birth of your child. What's that game where uh, you're like, uh, you have a bunch of hexagons? I think. You have like a bunch of hexagons on a board. And uh, is that what that is? Kata? I don't know. I've always wanted to play it. I think playing this is correct. Catan? I play the other things. What is that? It, I've never play played it, but first. it seems interesting. Do they have an online mode? Draw a card. It, it rules? Uh, is that the same thing? It's fantastic. Fantastic. Right. Yes. Oh, my God. That's exactly oh, what he's asking about wow. Okay. okay, but we have to kill that first. Believe in the heart of the cards, Aqua. Aye, aye, Captain. I must move quickly. Everyone, we must... We must channel our energy through the screen to Aqua so he can beat him. Did I do the wrong one? Oh, you don't get to use it also? It doesn't matter. That's fine. That was fucking insane. That was so lucky. I can't even believe how lucky that was. Channeling my energy through the screen to Aqua. I literally top drew that. Oh my god, that was so lucky. You will defeat them. Believe in the heart of the cards, Aqua. How did you not wear your Millennium Puzzle? I know you're part of the Illuminati. Really good, this deck is not a, like a true mirror match. I don't really know. It's time to do. It's all come down to this. Aqua's been training for this. If there's anyone that can pull it out of their ass, I know it can be him. Every day, thinking about the heart of Hearthstone. Hearthstone. I don't know what the fuck this game's called or what's going on. The opponent is apparently asleep. He's drew a card. What is it? It's Righteous Protector. Oh, God! Now it's Aqua's turn. He pulled a Leroy Jenkins. Is that what that's from? Is Leroy Jenkins from this game? I thought it was from, uh... What's that nerd game that people would play? It's from WoW, yeah. Oh, I thought it was RuneScape, okay. What's going on? All right. Well, uh, good luck. See what happens. You just got to believe in the heart of the cards or whatever. I don't know. That's right. Free labs, baby. So that means it's time to go to customs all day. No, I'm just joking. We're going to labs. Uh, we'll goof around in labs. What's it, does that also mean that our we can scab labs? Is it one of those kind of dual uh, days? No, you can't. All right. Guys, we need a we need an event quick. Uh, free labs. All right. <laughs> okay, people will love that. I'm just gonna take this because it's already on me. Uh, I did. Oh, yeah, I, I organized a little bit last time. But since I organized, I don't know where anything is. I need water. Help me. Oh, it's a quest? Oh, yeah, we need to check out our quests. Okay, yeah, let's see what the quests are. Big things coming from, uh, from BSG this year, guys. 1.0 coming soon. Check this out. I don't even know how I did that. Sure. I, well, didn't read that. That's fine. 
Mechanic, find and transfer. Love it. All right, bad feeling. This might be it. Eliminate Raiders in the last... 57? What the fuck? El uh, eliminate PMC operatives in the lab. 23. 200,000 XP. All right. Oh, we unlock... Uh, what is this one? I don't know if I've ever seen that. Can't I? I thought I could buy the T7s already. Wait, can I not? I swear to God, I saw them in here the other day. Yeah, I can already. What? <laughs> Unlocks for level one Jaeger. Oh, okay, I see. Copy that. All right, I have not played Tarkov since the last time that I streamed. So I am going to be very rusty today. Hey, uh, I wasn't able to watch the rest of Abney's stream yesterday. Did he ever finally do that strategy that he was trying to do with the BTR or whatever? This is not even the right ammo. I know he was trying, he was trying to do something with the BTR. I don't really know what, though. Is this good ammo? I don't know. I don't know anything. Very high, very high, very high. Oh, he got one? All right. I, I don't even know what he was trying to do, to be honest, but I, I kind of joined late, and then I kind of left early. I was uh, working on other stuff. But we like, a, we like a good Abney strat, you know? All right, I need to get into a scam. I'm not gonna lie, I might be buzzed. Someone asked me to drive right now, I would say I'm not able to. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. What's up, Land Knight? I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty good. I understand why uh, that guy was so... Um, was liked it. I mean, for for a cheap beer, like you can't go wrong with this. I feel like I might even put this above like Budweiser. Uh, this definitely tasted better to me than Modelo. I get it. It's a cheap beer. I I uh, yeah. I think it's the best. Yeah, I agree. I think it's the best of the cheap beers. I'm gonna say it right now. I used to be a PBR guy, a little Paps Blue Ribbon. Yeah, I, I'm into it. Is it Youngling or is it Yingling? I don't understand. I think you guys have explained, but I've missed every single time. Youngling? Oh, so, wait a minute. Oh, we're getting difference of opinions here. It is, it's Yingling. Bung Bing. Surely they wouldn't name a beer Youngling. Oh. Hello. Yeah, who is this? Hi, uh, this is James. How you doing today? Hi, James. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How are you today? Okay, sounds good. Well, the purpose of my <laughs> The AI is getting insane nowadays. A new final expense whole life insurance. What it does, it is going to cover 100% cost of your funerals, burials, or cremation expenses. And it will also give you an option to leave some money for your loved ones. So would you like to learn more about her? About her? Yes, please. 
Cool. Uh, let me ask you this. Are you between the age of 40 and 80? Yep. Great. Uh, I'm just going to quickly connect you with a, a product specialist right away. Please hold on. Okay. Thank you so much oh. for staying on the line. My name is Jonathan. How are you doing today? Jonathan, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How are you today? I'm very well. Thanks for good, asking. Good, How's good, good. How's so far? So far, so good. The sun's in the sky. I woke up feeling okay. Better than usual. I hope you did the same. How can I help you, Jonathan? Absolutely, sir. How are you? Well, 75. Years young, they say, but... I haven't been feeling that way lately. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, How old are you? But you start like between the age of 33 to 35. Oh, I'm my God. Stop it, Jonathan. You absolute dog. I don't, I, let me tell you something. I don't feel like it lately. That might be more really... like you. How can I help you today, Jonathan? You're being far okay, too kind. Let me ask you, what is your date of birth? Okay, it's 4-20-1949. A little bit before your time, I'm sure. And uh, what's your name? Jack. What's your last name? Death. Uh, well, hold on a second. It's not, it's not D, like, you're dead. It's D-E-T-H. I remember I told my wife, Lena, that the first time, and she was a little turned off by it, but it's a little scary, but not too scary. Jonathan? Okay. First name is Jack, last, last name is Dad, huh? First name is Jack. Last name is Dad. Why you gave me wrong information, man? Ah, oh, you son of a Nothing. bitch. You cut me, huh? Nothing really. You cut me, huh? Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. I'll get you next time, motherfucker. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Yeah, who's this? This is Sarah from Discount Power. How are you doing today? Oh, Sarah, I'm doing wonderful. How can I help you today? You're eligible to receive for 30% reduction on your electric bill by your local utility. If you would like to talk an account representative and claim your reduced rate, please say yes. Yes. Thank Dude, that, that guy was call. sus from the start. I think I might have to stop using Jack Death. They might have something in the system. I like to think that on their wall of stuff, your call is very important to us. Uh, there's just a picture of Jack Death and it says, don't talk to this guy. Hello? Yes, hello! <laughs> Immediately hung up. <laughs> Alright, well, you know, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. I thought that if, if we had stuck to that one... Well, hold on a sec. Was that the same? No, he didn't transfer us, did, a, did he? That guy had... That first guy had the energy that we were looking for. That guy had the energy that we were looking for. Unfortunately... He was just, he knew a little bit too much. What's the new name going to be? We need a new name from Trancers. I got to take my watch off when I play video games. Yeah, he was our guy. It might have been the name. Do we think it was the name that threw him off or something else? Maybe he just... Is my voice... I feel like my old man voice has changed. I feel like it's not old man enough anymore. I don't know what happened. I lost the character. I don't know what happened. I just don't know. 
No, it needs to be... We need it to be a... Uh, tran to keep it in the Trancer's lore. That way I remember the name. What was the... Uh, what was his boss's name? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my, my Rolex weighs, weighs it down. Does anyone in here have an actual Rolex? Are they really better? Is it... Are you just basically paying for the name? Is it just basically a flex thing? Guess what? My phone tells the time, too. You have one, Heavy? I don't doubt that. You seem like a Rolex guy. That's not a bad thing, either. That's me thinking you're cool. Trust me, if I had money for a Rolex, I'd probably buy it. They got some cool watches out there. I used to work with a guy, and uh, he was a watch guy. I mean, this guy was a watch guy. And uh, I was I would work with him in the training department. <clears throat> I forget what his name was. Fuck. But, uh... I, I, I feel sad. I, I feel like I forget names so fast. If I don't, like, have any contact with you for X amount of time, I forget literally everything about your personal identity. <laughs> like, your name, everything. I, I, re I remember instances of us together, like memories, but I just forget everything about you. Anyways, he was a big watch guy, and he would yap all day about watches. And I was just like, yeah, man, I don't, I don't know anything about this. But I'm glad that you're hyped on it, I guess. Yeah, memory dump. Is that, was that what that's called? <clears throat> I'd buy uh I'd buy a flex watch to be honest if I was balling hard enough. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think I would too to be honest. Yeah. Maybe I'm just coping. Uh, oh, you don't. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying you had one. It's just a fucking watch but with rare, rare materials. Can't beat a Casio F91. I'm not sure. Oh, I saw him at the last second. God. God damn it, Schmoo. It's okay. I didn't really want to be in the raid anyway. Uh, Casio F9. <laughs> it's also not your fault. Casio F91W. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are badass. Uh, during one of the subathons, Arcos, man, what a, what a gamer, huh? During one of the subathons, Arco sent us a bunch of those Casios with the uh, calculator watches. I think I snagged a uh, a black one. It's really cool. There was also a like a uh, like a forest green one. I was kind of bummed. I wanted both, but I, I, I black goes with everything. I guess um I guess army green goes with pretty much everything too. Or forest green, whatever. Dora Explorer watch. Honestly, it just, it does the exact same thing as a Rolex, so. I've always wanted one of those gold Casio watches. You know which ones I'm talking about. They're pretty badass. Uh, honestly, I should be going into this raid naked, but we're just going to go in with this and uh, hope for the best. And then once I lose this kit, which is going to be in about... Uh, probably 10 minutes or less, I'm going to go in there with nothing. <laughs> I assume the raids and labs are going to be nothing but naked freaks. I support it. Ranger green? Alright. That might be, might be it. I, uh, I don't really wear... I used to wa wear swatches a lot. I had some pretty cool swatches. Uh, I don't know where they all went. There was like a period of time when I was just, just collecting swatches. <laughs> I don't really know why. Sometimes I go through these weird periods where I just collect shit. And uh, it usually lasts about a month. Um, as you can tell with my Pokemon shit. Uh, I collected Pokemon for about a month. Bought some slabs, and now it's just in a bin. <laughs> I hope the price goes up. I don't know. I at least have some cool graded cards now. 
Is that ADHD? Is that what that is? I don't know, but uh, I feel like it's more of a curse than a blessing for certain things. I wish I could get like obsessed about productive things, you know? It's like this month, I want to learn how to weld or something. I don't know. Learn like a trade. It's always like mindless shit. Get it. We got to drink water, guys. Can't forget our water up uptake. What brand are these overalls or vans? Stop wearing stuff from my wrists by love watches. Any reason why you stopped? Jesus, Kim. They just don't stop. What? What the fuck is happening? Oh? What the fuck? What? I don't know. I got two calls at once. How's your riz today, Hexloom? Yo, Jay. Thank you for the 13 months. Appreciate that, gamer. The riz today? I don't know. Am I still on that fucking DLSS setting? Oh my god, I am. Turn this shit off. I could, I could tell instantly when we loaded in here. Today might be a good day to rat. We open the floodgates. I can actually vault on top of this? What the fuck? Scared. Dude, just... Alright. It's gotta be more than just one, right? God, I'm a freak. 
Rule number one of shooting. Never, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Do I collect gear and get out? It is free to come inside. Ah! Oh my god, I'm a freak. Not gonna lie, that was pretty badass, right? I voiped that, but they didn't voip back. If they don't push this, I don't think it's a real person. It might have been AI. Oh my god, I just saw it. Jesus Christ! Oh my god. <sighs> Did he up the Raiders or was that a real guy? Barracuda! Barracuda! Play it? Uh, it might be, uh, might be... I was about to say TOS. It's not, uh, what's that shit called? <laughs> DMCA. Jay, thank you for the 13 months, by the way. Appreciate that, man. Thank you guys for the resubs. I, I, uh, I greatly appreciate it. It's uh, kind of a, a hit, obviously, to the stream. Not streaming for a week. And, but I, I, it makes me feel good when all you guys show up. Thank you, guys. Okay, time to become a uh, naked freak in the lab. With very minimal stuff. And by that, I mean give me all the pistols. Time to become a lab runner. New setup is hot. Thank you very much, man. You man, if you weren't here be, at the beginning, you missed you missed all of it. You'll have to rewatch the stream. Hopefully, it's being posted. Oh, dude, we got the KS twenty threes too. I completely forgot I had all these bad boys. <laughs> Little five seven action today. I'm kind of into that. We could also do some other shotgun stuff. Sved, Svedka. Wait, what's in this? Can I unload it? Oh, I can. Is this this the? It is a flashbang round. Oh, okay. Can I take this out? I don't know if I have. I do have shrap then. Okay. All right, we're becoming shotgun boys. Two, three, 
Alien Shotgun Man. How about that? Can you wear ears with this? Probably not, right? Does it make any fucking sense? One grenade. Ooh, okay, we have we have these for it. Perfect. This is probably all I need, right? I have to go to the bathroom. See you later, uh, Shizm. Have a good one. I have a epidemic playlist, and what's funny is I a, a lot of these songs I've used this song in a video, a Rust video before. So a lot of these songs that I hear just remind me of like old videos, mainly Rust. <laughs> you can buy a grenade launcher from Peacekeeper Level One. Hold on a second now. Did they add this? What? What do you mean? Surely not the Vogue one, right? Oh, it's this one. Eh. Don't get me wrong, please. Grenade launchers are badass. Th this one's okay. It it's just... It, you have to be farther back for it to be of any use. The the Vogue one... Oh, speaking of that, let's buy it. Let's buy one of these. These ones are the best because you don't have to be, like, halfway across the map for it to actually blow up. You can be relatively close to them for it to detonate. However, this is awesome knowledge, and I love that. Thank you very much. I would love for them to uh, actually have... The Vogue ones. Oh, man. We would be an absolute freak in that one. Let's check him out. How do we think we did? Shoots a little high, huh? Fold targets? What does that mean? Where'd they go? Does this put him back? I don't want him. How do I put him back? God damn it. All right, this is right on target. Because I remember, I remember the KS-23 kind of... months already? Okay, Man so it's kind of like up to the left. I guess it does kind of go up. Okay. Because I remember at one point, KS-23 was shooting, like, insanely high up for some fucking reason. So, okay, got to remember. Go shoot for the legs. Shoot for the legs. Uh, Hold on. Let's, let's actually put this in here. Boom, boom. And I should have a little bit more here. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Remember that kid? Whatever happened to crack kid? Remember that? Holy shit. That's a flashback. Uh, Phil. <laughs> Thank you for the 25 months, man. That's a long time, dude. That's a long time to be subbed. And I, uh, I do appreciate that. Connects too with the dude. Who the fuck didn't tell me this? <laughs> Connects coming in here hot with that fresh prime, dude. I like that a lot. Thank you very much. Guys, I got to go to the bathroom. I got to go to the bathroom real bad. But I will be right back after I go. I have a, a small little bathroom break. All right. Everybody get yourself the bathroom. Drain your hogs. Drain your snakes. And uh, we'll get right back into this, this raid. I'm going to ready up. I'll be right back. No, we don't have a bathroom cam.
It can. It, it could. I just. I. I have to go. I have to go. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Hexlum, did you wash your hands? You're thinking, Hexlum, tell me that you washed your hands. Why isn't this thing working ever? Dude, don't ever buy this camera. It's an Instacam 360. Never buy it. I cannot stress this enough. Don't ever buy it. Did you wash your hands? No, I didn't because my penis is clean and I didn't piss all over it. I've been peeing for 33 years of my life and I've gotten pretty good at it, all right? <sighs> Yingling. Yingling. Tier 100 new setup is sick. Looks like you're having a lot more fun with this than with the old setup. Plus pants, thank Glad you, for the you decided bits. to change it up instead of just burning yourself out with the old setup. Big love gamer. Push pants, push pants, puss pants gets it. And I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I feel a lot better with this setup, trust. We're in raid. What a tease. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, Quantavius, thank you for the three months, Puss Pants. Thank you again for the hundred bits. Oh shit, we're in we're in prime uh Oh my 
God, I'm quick with it. I'm fucking quick with it, dude. Woo! <clears throat> and now we can just kind of hang out and still be in the Tarkov category. All right, I won't teach you guys. You guys ready for this fucking drop? I don't think the KS-23 one-taps anybody now, does it? Maybe? Been sniffing at Uncle Joe, have we? Relax, sir. You, uh, you, you, I... My streams used to be completely different when I first started streaming. And, uh, Joe was one of the first people that actually saw those streams and put me on. And, uh, it's, uh, it, I, I gotta give Joe a big shout out for cr a credit where credit's due. He saw my streams and he saw something in me and he really kind of put me on. You probably came around when, uh, I was only doing desktop gaming streams, but I'm trying to get back to how my old streams used to be. And, uh, a lot of people don't remember those streams and rightfully so. I feel like a lot of people came in during the Tarkov times. So. Cheer 100. People's content will always be compared to I'm something else. I'm just going to say what everybody is thinking. It's fine. <laughs> Look at that beautiful new setup. What a beautiful layout. How Mr. Loom has so much space for activities amazes me. I can't wait to start selling chocolate dipped strawberries out of this space. Concrete 100. <laughs> Concrete 100. Thank you, Greg, for the bits. I appreciate that. Yes, thank you. Came during the Roblox times? I don't think that was me. <clears throat> yes, we do love Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe is uh, quite quite the specimen. He runs a beautiful show over there. You should definitely check it out. I would say that um, when I first started streaming, um, I was greatly inspired. Uh, what really, truly inspired my streams was um, obviously Tim and Eric. Tim and Eric was something that always inspired, like, my editing and everything. But uh, this guy called Let's Paint TV. I think Let's Paint TV is the person that actually inspired how I wanted my streams to be. Let's Paint, Mr. Let's Paint TV was way ahead of anybody's time. And I think paved the way for uh, a, a lot of people in the streaming genre. He was someone who was on, um, he would do, uh, what's that network when it's television, but it's not... Um, it's not TV. It's like you can have your own channel. What is that? What is that shit called? I can't remember. No, not PBS. It's like a. Uh, uh, no, not cable. You can. It's it's whatever. Like uh, Wayne's World was on. Whatever that's called. Cable access. Yeah, something like that. Like anybody could have a show if they could just. Add, it's basically live streaming for live streaming. Public access. Yeah, public access. Uh, he had a public access show. It's called Mr. Let, uh, Mr. Let's Paint. And that truly, he is, and he still does stuff. I still follow him, and I repost some of his stuff on Instagram. He is just, I think he paved the way for a, a, a lot of streamers, to be honest, and, and the content that they do. And uh, when I first saw one of his streams, I was like, this guy fucking gets it. <laughs> and between that and, like, Tim and Eric and, like, Adult Swim and all that shit, that's that's where all the inspiration came from. And I, there's a lot of like-minded individuals with the same style of content out there. So it's uh, it's bound to get overlapped. But big shout-out to to Joe for seeing my streams in the very, since the very beginning and seeing something, I guess. What was his name? Uh, just look up Let's Paint TV or uh, Mr. Let's Paint TV. You'll see it. And Eric Andre even has been on record saying that Let's Paint TV is one of the guys that inspired him as well. I think I'm going to have to run around. I don't think this is... This might not be a good day for ratting in here. I think too many people are going to be out and about. 
Didn't like, uh, they, isn't there like some card room you can open now or something? I truly didn't uh, look into this event whatsoever other than labs is free. I don't know. Oh my God, somebody's shooting. Who's, who's shooting? But it's alright, man. We do, we keep doing what we're doing. No matter what. Oh shit, what the fuck? What? We can put this in the fucking... Bitcoin, Bitcoin. I forgot we have a Bitcoin farm. I'm gonna just spend all the rubles on, on uh, GPUs. I just saw him. Holy shit. I saw his head through the little window. How am I getting shot from around the corner? He wouldn't dare push in here. Have I? So, hey, you labs main W key loser. It's me, Mr. Decky, and I'm going to fuck you up, bitch. Come and get me. You can't because you're bad. I went out to dinner with your mom last night and made her pay for it. I got a $70 steak. It had fries and everything. Come on, you big baby. Push me. Mad cuz bad. 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 bad. You suck. You suck. You suck. Still hurt. Oh shit, my stomach's gone too. Didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah, I was playing it in VoIP. He's not going to push. I don't blame him. Fuck, I don't have a splint.
Anyone trying to get in on some no man's sky? Uh, didn't they, did they uh, like fix the game or something? I need to put an actual serve kit here. Why can't I hear anything? Is it because of my alien head? You're not allowed to hear if you're an alien. Oh shit. You think anyone will come over here? Can't squeeze through that? Come on now. Note to self, don't ever use that fucking alien head again. <sighs> he spotted you because of your fat ass poking it. God damn this big dumpy. The bane of my existence. Yeah, I just hear buzzing. I don't think you guys can hear it, but I just hear buzzing going on. I need to figure this shit out. You guys said it was a, a ground problem? A grounding plot problem? Who's grounded? How do I fix this issue? Because the other one didn't do that. Is it So is it the cable's fault? Or whose fault is it? Is it Obama's? I'm buying all of these. I'm surprised it hasn't done a capture yet. Hold on a sec. 67. <sighs> yeah, this seems legit. <laughs> Wait, these are... Wait, what? The same per... Wait, why are there two listings for the same person? How does Tarkov not see this and are like, this is suspicious? Like, all you gotta do is go... I <laughs> Like, I discovered this in two seconds. All you gotta do... What? 
Does this make you go hum or am I just bad at the game? I don't know. Anyways, I don't want to buy that guy's stuff. I don't even know how many I bought. Put them all in the thing. I need two more. I'll spend a, a higher price. I don't give a shit. I got a Bitcoin farm, baby. I wish when you would upgrade the uh, Bitcoin farm that it, it would upgrade the amount of Bitcoin that it'll it'll do. At least to like five, you know? At least to five. I feel like that's fair. Hell yeah, dude. Bitcoin for days. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You gotta max out hideout. Is that something that you can upgrade? Just ratted a level 71 using your spot and got goop. I like to hear that. That's very hot. All credit goes to uh, Xville Camper for that spot, though. Uh, he's the one that I saw do it. Probably most spots that I use besides one that I did a video on is uh, probably from Xville. <clears throat> Being the homie, dude. All right, let's try, uh, well, fuck, man. I wish the KS-23 was still good. Bring back the KS-23. Ugh. All right, well, this is the last KS-23 round. They want butt sex! Oh, yeah, I should get a serve, huh? Good looking out, dude. Uh, yeah, you sell it. There's probably cheaper ones on the flea. There we go. There's one for 50k. I might have a Bitcoin farm, but I like a good bargain. You guys ever like listen to uh, a particular song or maybe like a particular sound or even like a certain smell and you kind of like get transported back to a, a certain time? That's how I feel with this song. <laughs> kind of like the hit film Press Play by Craig Bjorkman. Little nostalgia moment. Yingling makes my problems go away. I gotta say, Yingling might be the best cheap beer. I'm gonna say it right now. It's not the best beer. That goes to Voodoo Ranger. Uh, but as far as cheap beer, I think this is this is pretty good. I would say this is better than uh, Modelo for sure. Modelo seemed is a bit harsher. This is definitely more. Um, Yingling is, is more smooth, for sure. Yeah, 100%. Best cheap beer is Rainier. Okay, I haven't had it, so that might be that might be true. How do you feel about YooHoo canned chocolate milk? I think it's good. Um, I've never had it in a can, though. I've always had it in the glass bottles or the, uh, the milk carton type situation. But I don't know. I feel like maybe canned milk might be kind of weird, but uh, Yoohoo itself is pretty good. I don't know the last time I had it. I might have been a child the last time I had it, but yeah. Who the fuck drinks milk? 
cows, I guess. Cow babies. I drink Modelo when I'm skating or being somewhat uh, active. Yinglings are too heavy for me. These are too heavy for you? I feel like they're... This might... Really? I feel like this was lighter. Now, to be fair, I did drink 24 ounces of Modelo before drinking this Yingling. So maybe the next time I have this, maybe I have the Yingling first and then the Modelo. So. Dunkaroos? I haven't had... What the fuck? What? crazy that like in elementary school back in the day i don't know how it works in elementary school now maybe maybe some of you guys have kids and can and can tell me about this there, is there there was like some kind of like hierarchy of your lunch meals <laughs> if you had lunchables every day you were the coolest kid ever dude junkaroos oh my god i want to be your friend Uh, this way. Gogurts, yeah, dude. When Gogurt. Help! 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 Stranger! 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 Help me, stranger! How did that guy get there so fast? Shut up! <laughs> Surely the trail of blood won't lead him to me. <laughs> we got a George of the Jungle inside of this raid, guys. Did I really only bring one heavy bleed? What a psychopath. Stop, stop, stop. Have I? So, hey, you labs main gun, you key loser. It's me, Mr. Decky, and I'm going to fuck you up, bitch. Come and get me. You can't because you're bad. I went out to dinner with your mom last night and made her pay for it. I got a $70 steak. It had fries and everything. Come on, you big baby. Push me. Mad cuz bad. 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 You suck. You suck. You suck. Decky always gets them. They don't want any of that smoke. Okay, I don't think we can go back up this way, by the way. Ah! Jesus, how dark is it without... Oh my god, who could even play this? To be honest, no idea where I'm at. Probably an elevator around here, right? Oh my god, dude, I always think that. Oh my god! <laughs> Never mind, that was someone. Help! This is a great day at Tarkov, guys. I absolutely love this game. Any new voicemails for Cheer the love of God, 100. please? Hey, quick update, fam. Not that you give a fuck. Still trapped in Lettuce's ball sack. 
The man has not jerked that thing for weeks. It gets even worse when he starts doing fucking squats. We had a he call, but they didn't leave a voice name on every rep. It gets so stupidly hot in this sack. God, please. Someone just seduce him and jack him off. I'm begging you. Do your boy a solid. Take one for the team and fuck lettuce, please. Please. Oh! Oh! Let me out. Fuck! Some someone get him out of his balls. Help this man. What are you guys doing? Help him. Uh, edit preset. Open factory runner. Give me that shit. All right. I honestly, I feel more confident with this weapon than I did with the KS-23. Mainly because I know that with the KS-23, you're not going to be able to... Even if you get a good shot off, they're not dead. And by the time you're pumping that shit, you're dead. Know what I mean? Yeah, thanks for the bits, Colton. Appreciate that. another magazine of this right i specifically remember okay here we go i'm gonna be honest if you asked me to play this for you right now i would have no idea what i did to make this song <laughs> Oh, that's Quake. Uh, heels, I guess. There we go. 99 health. That's probably about the amount of time that we'll be alive. Is that happening in real life? No, I didn't put that in the song. Uh oh. <sighs> How you guys feeling? You guys feeling okay? You guys having a good day? Can't wait to be back in Washington mid-August. Ooh. What's going on in Washington, huh? Just visiting some fam or just visiting, uh, revisiting a previous area? Man, I need to go back to Washington. I should do a video where I go to, um, I go see Bee Horse. Oh man, we got subathon talk going on right now, guys. I don't want to leak anything, but we got some talks going. Wait, can you guys see this? Stop looking. <laughs> Stop with the concrete. Greg wants me to upload this concrete fucking emote. All right, I'll uh, I'll oblige. Wait, did you actually make it the what I needed? Is this is the background transparent or no? It's not coming up transparent in this. Yeah, let me go to my switch. I don't know. Well, well, the problem is, is we're gonna have to get rid of an emote. What emote do you guys want gone?
What emote shall we... Oh, shit. My VOD got unpublished. What the fuck? If I do... If I put it as one of the standard free emotes, does everybody get that emote? I feel like only people that don't follow get it. Right? I don't really want to get rid of any of the emotes. We do have two C mans. We could get rid of C what? All right, I'm getting rid of C what? I just heard a man die over there. Uh, where'd that download to? Cobblestone. Uh, what should we name it? Concrete? Hey, that's concrete! You guys remember that meme? I don't even know if I spelled that right. Alright, there you go. You got your little concrete amount. There you go, Greg. Cool thing about the, um, emotes, though, is that we can always bring them back if we want. Because it, like, it, it saves them. So... Ditch Jug? No, I want to keep Jug. I like Jug. You'll test it? I don't know how you're going to test it. You're not sub. But feel free to do that. Oh my god, smash, please. I feel like my game is darker. Hey, where the hell am I? Where the f what the fuck? It's just an absolute maze down here. You might have to refresh for it to show up. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this isn't even a door! Map sucks. Everything below. I might know where I'm at right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know where I'm at. That's concrete. All right, catch your breath. Jesus Christ. Level 51. Can't even run down a hallway. That might be the dumbest emote that we have. <laughs> and the first in line to get replaced. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> By anything else. Yeet! Look at that, dude. Smooth as butter. It is dumb. I mean, it's pretty on par with the rest of the stream. Am I right? Yep. Replace it with a brick. <laughs> Looks like your apartment floor. <laughs> Should I put... <coughs> Hold on, I got an idea. <coughs> Sorry, Jesus Christ. Uh, since stopping s smoking weed, I've also been coughing nonstop. 
Also, my dreams have been absolutely insane lately. <laughs> there you go, Greg. Does that help? I hope the scene for you. Can we get Watto on top of the concrete? <laughs> Probably want him in front of it, right? Oh wait, concrete's ahead of everything. We need to bring it back anyway. Ooh. Oh fuck. I can't make it so that he's sitting on it. It's ki he's kind of sitting on the concrete. Ooh! Oh shit, that makes noise. Come on in. Chocolate dip in this chair, 100. <laughs> did I bring a nade? Pretty sure I did. Come on in, boys. Uh oh. Propital. No, don't go to that. Come over here. Like a moth to a flame, dude. They're gone. We can draw him out here. I took an allergy pill this morning and I feel like my allergies are kicking it right up. I can't take another one. It says not to on the bottle. I don't, God knows what'll happen. Stream sponsored by Rhino, <laughs> Rhino Boner Pills. Come on in. Come in. Come inside. Open the door. God damn it. I don't even think that's a real person. <laughs> Stream ends when I get a boner. I took the pill that gives me allergies. God, what a rookie mistake. Cheer 100. You might be a successful streamer, but you don't know how to host a watch party of a watch party on Discord, do ye? Ha ha. I prevail once again. You couldn't even do it again. <laughs> You couldn't even give me a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do that smash. You were you don't even remember doing it. Thank you for the bits. And below, thank you for the bits as well. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm concrete hard. Oh god. You are a hundred percent correct. Absolutely. <laughs> I have to pee again. We got to let's add catheter stream to the uh the board. I think we need to add it to the board. Come on, come on over. Catheter stream. We got to do it. Come on. Don't do this.
I wrote it down as stream or I pee in chair. So that should be uh, pretty <laughs> recognizable. Don't you have to shove that up your urethra or something? Am I standing up? Oh, meds. All right. No one wants these goodies. I guess I'll take them. Look how big these beans are. Big bean moment. Can't wait to go home and flick those. Let's go, guys. Oh my god! Speedrun pathing, speedrun pathing. Is there like some, uh. Dude, this, uh, okay. We gotta put on the list a new mic stand. This, this mic stand, this is new one, but it's already sagging like fucking crazy. Okay, these don't go away. All right. I'm, I'm about to pull. How? Just start streaming like this. Dude, what the fuck, man? This thing's a piece of shit. Is there like some door that opens now or what's what's the point of this free labs experiment? Pretty lackluster to me. <laughs> Make the mic stand erect. I've been stroking it, nothing happens. There's a new door. Don't know anything about it, though. Where's new door? Show new door. Where? Show me now. More like a lab's luster, am I right? That's what I'm saying. Tier 100? That's what I'm saying, Puss Pants. <laughs> when you finish the task, does a door open or some shit? That would be my guess. In that case, it would be kind of a cool event. Is it this door? Deep throat that shit. The mic? I don't think it'll help. I haven't heard one gunshot. I haven't heard anybody moving around. I don't even know what's going on. There's either a bunch of rats on this... Labs experience, or everyone's quiet as a mouse, dude. Oh. the cage upstairs that sounds like a very cryptic message Whoa. surely I won't meet the same fate uh, it's not a real boy give this up. Oh, 
Well, someone's been here. They're gone. They gone. What the fuck? How long have we been in this raid? Everyone's dead. Four years? Has it been that long? I feel like everyone got in here, killed raiders, and then just immediately left. No one even went into that room. I think most of this raid we were kind of dicking around downstairs though, huh? Or I was trying to figure out where the fuck I was, I guess. Uh, I wish I could take both, but I can't. Give me that magazine. Nades, nades, nades. All right, I guess I will also leave. What is this? Hmm. Yeah, everyone's gone. All right, let's reset. It's free after, oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. We got a juicer over there. That's great. <laughs> you need to interact with a cat statue in the manager's office to open the secret room. Where is the secret room in general? Or do you need to do something special to open said secret room? I need to know where the secret room is basically so I can camp it. Anyone have this information? Anyone at all? Now is the time to flex. I have to pee again already. Yeah, please. Please leave the walkthrough in the voicemails. Exclamation point, call in. <laughs> Hold on, we have some voicemails. <laughs> Maybe we have the uh, info that we need. Even have, do these even have plates in them? Okay. Oh, fuck me, dude.
All right, let's listen to one of these before I... <laughs> oh, God. They're right behind me. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Ah! Oh God. <laughs> Yes, hello? Uh, yeah, my parents divorced because of me. What'd you do? I was born. That's why they got divorced? Yeah. Sometimes an unexpected... I'm okay with it, though. How old are you? That's a, that's not relevant information right now, <laughs> you buddy. Sound, you sound like you're probably above the age of twenty five. That that's correct. And they now decided to get divorced because of you, or was this? A no, no, I, I, they divorced. No, no, I was like six months old, so okay, probably the reason. I thought I was leaving a voicemail message. <laughs> Jesus, I didn't know I'd be live right now, well, man. I was. <laughs> I was... <laughs> <laughs> really put me on the spot here, Jeez. I uh, I I was listening to the voicemails. You called in, and I was like, "Why not? Let's 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 pull the trigger on this one." <laughs> all right. You well, want to call back and do what you were gonna do? Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Let's listen to this voicemail. Heck bloom. Heck bloom. Flume, get off that damn Tarkov. Play a game people actually like. Tier 100. What do you want me to play? I'll play anything. I, I'm literally down to play whatever. You think I want to play this shit? Absolutely not. I don't even know how I'm going to string this into a Tarkov video. <clears throat> Let me know. I got to pee. Let's load back in. I got to take a piss. Uh, if you just called... And uh, I put you on the spot. I'm I'm off of it now, so you can call. I won't answer it. <laughs> if you really want to. I'll uh, I'll listen to the voicemail after this raid. Take a little drink of my of my water. Uh I guess I should bring in a heavy bleed. There we go. Boom. Right there. Love that shit. All right. <clears throat> Back to the lab. Ready up. I'm gonna go pee. Wreck fest? I don't have I feel like it would be really boring to play without a wheel. Kings was supposed to send me a wheel and something happened. I don't remember what. I, th I think his car got damaged or something.
Hey, this guy's in a raid. timing I know <sighs> We're down below again I don't even know where we are this fucking mic stand I swear to god it, it gets lower and lower I can physically see it dropping down which makes me drop my head down stop doing that why are you doing that I don't know why. Who's leaving? Okay, you said by the kitty cat statue, right? Where's the actual door? Nobody has, has yet to tell me where the actual door is. Oh, you were fucking with me? I don't know. It sounds like something stupid that Tarkov would do. <laughs> fucking case thing, dude. I already don't want to play this. This is the worst game I think ever. <laughs> it's not even a skill thing at this point. It's more of like an attention issue. I just don't, I don't fucking care anymore. Okay, because we have... <laughs> we got a new voicemail. Alright, should I do one where I actually kind of give a shit? Alright, here we go. This one, this one I'm actually going to care a tiny bit. Get ready, guys. It all changes. <laughs> it all changes now. Um, Let's go MDR. Where's the MDR? Oh, here it is. Could do this RD. I remember this RD being pretty, pretty lethal. Look at that dude already in there. We like to see that. Boom. 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 Oh my God. Perfect amount. gonna see a changed player in this one guys an absolute Tarkov freak you're gonna think is that actually Hexloom playing or is this some kind of psychotic gaming freak and the answer to both those questions is both. What needs to be repaired?
All right, we got, we got another voicemail here. <laughs> Hi, my name's Little Timmy. I was wondering if I could borrow your line for only five dollars per line. I want Roblox money for Roblox. Please, please, please let me mow your lawn. My dad's an alcoholic and won't let me go outside unless I mow somebody's lawn. Roblox, Roblox money please, only five dollar buys. The kid's a hard worker. We can't really knock that. Am I right? I think, uh, I, I think, I mean, he's working for it at least. I think so, yeah. Supporting a good work ethic. The kid's just trying to make a buck. I get it. I think it's important. I love it. Uh, you won't see a dime from me, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> good luck out there. He's on that grind mindset. Support child labor? Uh, sure. <laughs> what do you want to play? I don't know. I don't, I just, I have not been finding any enjoyment in video games. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like video games in general, my mindset right now, or, or what. I don't know. Baldur's Gate 3? Probably not. I want to, like, learn a skill. <laughs> That's what I want to do. I don't want to go to labs. I want to learn a skill. Elden Ring New Game Plus? Absolutely not. Although, on the board for uh, future streams is a uh, Elden Ring dual thing between me and Eugene. If he's not too pussy to accept. Wow, we got in this quick. Play something different for fun. Don't be so content brained. I would love to be able to do that, Neon, if my YouTube channel didn't um, end well-being, didn't rely on that. I would absolutely love that. <clears throat> YouTube's algorithm. Look how fucking huge these beans are. Them beans is huge. Oh, well, that opens out. Okay. Surprise! Damn it. GPU. I guess we don't really need any more GPUs, to be fair. Okay, I was not expecting uh, the reticle on this to be so close. Should have just stayed with the uh, the voodoo. 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 Time to start a hardcore band. Not again. I uh, I was on Decky's stream the other day, and Decky was saying that he was listening to fucking um, uh, Law Dispute, <laughs> which is something that I never would think that I would hear Decky say. I thought it was pretty no knowledge that Decky hates music. And uh, to hear that Decky was listening to a lot of Spute, the uh, Wildlife album, was pretty crazy to me. To be fair, Wildlife had some... Uh, the guitars on Wildlife were actually really good. I liked the tone of them. And he was saying that he wanted to be in some band. And he was saying that I should make music for it. Or, or something along those lines. Didn't he say that? Yeah, a lot of Spute, is he okay? That's what I thought. I was like, what is he doing listening to that? I never would have thought in a million years that he would even know of that band. He said he went out on a on a run to um and he was listening to him. I think it's great. Decky could totally be a front man. He's got that dog in him. Stream 
streamer banned. We need a drummer. Dude, this fucking site sucks. What am I hearing? Is that like a uh, an elevator or what? Uh oh. Hold on, everybody. Time out. Lungs hurt. Nothing like listening to King Park when I'm getting ready for a run. <laughs> I mean, hey, whatever whatever gets you in that. I personally never ran listening to La Dispute, but maybe uh maybe I'm missing out on something. Running and music. I also have a stream planned where I'm on a treadmill playing Tarkov. I don't wanna well, I shouldn't have even said that. Somebody else doing it here. I've had that on the fucking docket for I don't know how long. But I wasn't able to do it in the other spot. Dude, where is everybody? I camp, can't find anybody. I run around, can't find anybody. Line up top. Can't take it. Not worth it. I haven't even heard anybody move in this place. Is anyone even playing this event? What up, Muzz? It's just like five players online in Tarkov. What the fuck just happened? Isn't is this spot the uh, Omid spot? Is this it? I can't remember. Was this the spot or was it the other one? I think the other one. I can't remember. If, I just I don't know if it's Omid spot technically or. Okay, I guess I'll check the center. Fuck it. If we die, we die. Oh, I hear someone. Oh my god, get on the ground. What are you doing? What the fuck? I did not do that! I have no idea where this guy went. <sighs> Fall back a little bit. And of course, I'm out of breath. I did my cheer work because you just put cheer.
baby crawl stream. Is this a window? Look at that. Can I still get into heaven if I shit myself? Cheer 100. Can I still get into heaven if I kill myself? That's Decky while he's sprinting down the streets of Mexico. <laughs> I still, I still can't like visualize him listening to King Park, but I want to know how he started listening to it. I want to know what Decky's like running playlist is. That'd be kind of interesting to see. All right, I don't know where this guy went. If he left or what. Like someone sucked up all this loot anyway. There's like nothing here, dude. Oh, I heard someone. Dude wouldn't dare come down here. Ooh, maybe he would. You want to cross? Did he go across? Those noises. You bub. Stop moving. I just listened to a lot of which album did you listen to though? Gotta get decking on that chat pile shit. I'm gonna be honest. I don't even like chat pile. I don't understand why anybody likes them. I don't get it. This guy stopped moving too. He ran around a little bit and stopped moving. He's probably just on the stairs. I feel like I feel like most of a lot of speed songs might have like a good tempo though. <clears throat> a good tempo for um for for kind of just like casually running, not for like high speed sprinting, but if you're trying to keep a pace. Oh no. I got dead, right? That had to be his head exploding. Saw me at the last second. Yeah. I'm gonna assume I killed him. If not, whatever. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did a fuck boy. EPO. All right. Ooh, a little five seven. A lot. Say it. Not sure what the fuck this loadout is, but all right. Least favorite song of all time. Least favorite. Hmm. Top of my head, I can't really think of anything. Least favorite. Trying to think of like a song that just absolutely puts me off. And uh, top of my head, I can't really think of anything. I actually don't want this fucking gun. What do you have in this? 
This would have absolutely fucking killed me. <laughs> Cheer 100, hello, Master Rat. How you doing today? Doing well. Also, have there been any updates on when the wipe is? Or is it just in August? Uh, early August. I got a message about it today. Whether or not any of it's actually relevant, I don't know. As far as a date. All right, anything cool? All right. I don't see anything cool. It's like the only guy in here, or what? Was that a guy? Was that a man? What the fuck? What was that? Who was that? Had to be a raider, right? What the fuck? This was an actual human? What are you doing? Fuck. I genuinely thought it was a raider or a scat. Please transfer these. Thank you. I could get on that. I feel like I've gotten on that before. Oh, I don't know if you're still in here, Zerky, but uh, I was watching one of your clips, which made me rewatch part of your stream when you were uh, raiding somebody and the fucking satchel goes off immediately. The uh, the silence after that satchel and you dying was made me uncontrollably laugh. And then, um, so I watched you actually go back and then do that raid and then you getting everything and then, and then you dying immediately as soon as you had everything by somebody counter raiding. And I, it was honestly, truly, I'm sure in that moment it was nothing but pain, but it truly was an incredible piece of content. Let me tell you. Isn't this to the... Yeah, it is. This is where I die. We got a bandit. Shit. Alright, let's do this. Can I even get out? Great.
gaga easy. Ooh, that's far. So what, I gotta go down to the bottom elevators? When it happened, I was so mad, but afterwards it was so, yeah, dude, that's like, that's the kind of rust content that I like seeing. I don't give a shit about people actually successfully raiding somebody. I, in moments like that, when it's like truly what rust actually is, I, I fucking love that. I absolutely love that shit. <clears throat> All right, I guess we're going. I'm going to an elevator. Crush, crush Meister. Is this door accessible? It should be. How would one get to the basement? I'm gonna eat a snack. No, I don't need to. Alright. Whoa, Mamma Mia. You know what I want? Oh, that's another thing that we're going to be doing, by the way. I didn't mention this on stream. Uh, we're going to be turning myself into a science experiment. What does that mean? It means... Oh, shit. PPMO and SP8. Not bad. I don't really use SP8, though. Uh, over the course of I don't know how long I've been... Oh, it's that PPMO. I've been a caffeine fiend. And... Uh, I'm, I recently on Prime Day, they got me, all right? Amazon got me, and I bought a case of Celsius. Uh, got shot from over here. Well, I think I'm gonna stop drinking caffeine again. I've done this before. But after this case is Celsius, no more caffeine. I'll take some shortens. Uh, what what is that going to mean for the stream? God knows, and God help you all. I have no idea. <laughs> uh. I have no idea. Um, ooh, level five armor. Ooh, we. I'm gonna break a leg, aren't I? Motherfucker. Oh, shit, someone's camping down here, aren't they? have any nades on me. How did that how did that those physics work? That one might have been on me. That one was 100% on me. Don't worry. Seven times the charm. There we go. Beautiful. Just on. Right. What a waste. 
fist. My legs hurt. Help me. Try black tea. Become very sensitive to caffeine. I'm just going to quit cold turkey. I've done it before. It turns you into an absolute psychopath, by the way, if you just quit drinking caffeine cold turkey. It's literally a drug. So, uh, and, and you do go through little bits of, of um, withdrawals. I've gone through it, I think, twice when I've quit cold turkey before. I can stop, I swear. But uh, this should be an interesting stream experiment. <laughs> But with that being said, I want something caffeinated right now. Caffeine moment. Caffeine moment. You get massive headaches. Do you, have you ever watched the uh, or or read about the science behind why that happens, though? <laughs> Caffeine's an interesting uh, an interesting drug, and um, what it actually does to you is kind of crazy. Because when you drink caffeine or caffeine in any in anything it's basically tightening your your blood vessels so when you stop caffeine the reason why you're getting headaches because they your blood vessels are loosening and you're getting more blood to your brain than you're used to you just kind of have to push through it i quit cold turkey once not thinking that anything dude i hate this I quit cold turkey once, uh, not realizing that that would actually happen. And um, I didn't know what was going on with me. I thought I was dying. Uh, like, the the floor would spin. Um, I wasn't able to see straight. My motivation just, like, sunk to an all-time low. I just wanted to be in bed and curled up. And I, I thought I was uh, just... I thought I didn't know what was wrong with me and a friend of mine was like did you change anything recently I was like I stopped drinking caffeine and they were like you quit cold turkey and I was like yeah and they're like yeah you're going through fucking withdrawals man I was like oh sometimes you kind of forget that caffeine is an actual drug because I feel like it's just so widely used you know people don't think about it like that But I will say at the end of um, the quote unquote withdrawals, uh, I would say that I was less anxious. I was able to sleep a lot better. Uh, I, I know I already said less anxious, but my, my ang just to go back to that, my anxiety was just like all time low. It was great. It was insane. Uh, it was like a night and day experience. I, I felt great. I'm sure there's some good health benefits to it as well, but those were kind of like the main things that I was excited about when I uh, when I quit. Right now, I'm a caffeine fiend. I, I I love caffeine. I think what really fucks it up is whenever we would have a subathon, and if you if you're going all night with Decky, you get you better believe you're drinking caffeine, baby. Caffeine and Voodoo Ranger. Should we go again? I still can't believe that guy was just like sitting there in the middle of the hall. What was that guy doing? Oh, did Aqua win his little uh, match or what? Anybody know? Is he still... Oh, he's not even live anymore. Did he win or no? What happened with that? What's Decky doing? He's been he's been on that uh, DayZ grind. Oh, Mead's still live? I could have sworn I saw the timer at zero. He got fourth out of eighth. Hey, not bad. I feel like that's pretty good. 
right? It's halfway. For a game that he just like passively plays, I think that's pretty good. It's crazy how good you you feel if you can sober it out. Yeah, if you just switch to just water, drinking only water, it, it's truly Ooh, a, a so crazy spacious. experience. Hey, what's up, Abney? Thank you for the 14 months, man. How you doing? I was talking about you earlier. Did your um little experiment work? I was probably in your stream for like two minutes last night. Headaches and irritability. I didn't really get the irritability. I got the headaches and I got the... um. I got the headaches and I got the feeling of being uh, unmotivated. Uh, also, I felt very dizzy. Um, so sometimes the floor looked like it was moving on its own. And then, um, yeah, some of that. I feel like there was more to it. I can't remember. Went horrible, the BTR doesn't exist. Were you just doing woods? What were you even trying to do? I didn't understand, but I, I kind of came in late and I left pretty early, like I said. Went cold turkey on pop in 2011. Haven't gone back. That's awesome. Yeah. I don't really drink soda too much unless you count, I guess, I guess um, Celsius might be considered pop drinks. I, I wouldn't really consider it that, but... You drink coffee or caffeine drinks? Coffee has other stuff in it besides caffeine, so too, so the draws might be different. At that time, when I went cold turkey uh, the first time, I was drinking mainly espresso. Uh, espresso was 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 what I would drink mostly, and that that was a different breed. I feel like I mean I was having a lot of espresso daily, and that that was because I feel like the second time that I quit caffeine cold turkey, it wasn't as bad as that time. Um, but that also might be because I kind of knew what was going to happen the second time that I did it. And I was more mentally prepared for, for something like that. What's up, Scrimp? Scrimp! You know what that reminds me of? I'm going to show you right now. This is what your name reminds me of. Healing Center. Looks like they have a video here, guys. Sounds like scrimp. <laughs> Whenever someone says shrimp, that's immediately where my head goes. What a time to come back to the stream. Room looks great. Thank you. I think when it turns winter, it'll be better. All these blinds kind of add a lot of sun, but I kind of like that it's more bright in here. I, for one, and I'm sure so would many others, would love it if we could bear witness to a Hexloom interpretive dance stream. Mayhaps, perchance, it could be a healthier alternative to oh, raging at Tarkov every time you die and thing. feel the injustice seething through She's your veins. Goddamn Convey goddamn it to us God through the Malik. medium of dance. Shut uh, up! Cheer come a hundred! Because we got an absolute freak going here. Atomic Dread Pirate gifted a tier one sub to Vladimir Luton. Atomic Dread Pirate gifted a tier one sub to Starry Nightmare. Atomic Dread Pirate gifted a tier one sub to Angry Little Gartho. Atomic Dread Pirate gifted a tier one sub to Pirate Cat underscore 21. Atomic Dread Pirate gifted a tier one sub to Freedom Tech. Atomic Dread Pirate gifted a tier one sub to Savage underscore Sandwich. Follow me. This way. I, I don't know why this camera continues to go back here. Don't ever buy this camera. Follow me. It, it just it has a mind of its own. 
It's an Instacam 360. Don't buy it. I die on this hill. This fucking camera did. All right, I'm all tangled up. I'm getting another Celsius. Thank you for those 10 gifted subs, baby. We like to see it. I appreciate it. Who was that? Atomic Dread Pirate coming in, huh? Thank you, man. Instacam killed my mom. Crumb wants crumb. It's been a lot of that going on. You aren't the first person that they said that either. They have given four gift subs in the channel. Who's, whose cock do I got to suck for this thing to fucking work? <laughs> Shream! All right, I'm getting another Celsius. I'm getting some blood to the legs, baby. I need some caffeine. Home Gorilla gifted a tier one sub to Gooblius. They have given 31 gift subs in the channel. It's it's literally the biggest piece of shit. Don't don't ever buy it. I I might even fucking sell it. I don't know why it keeps going back to this position. And then it just doesn't do anything. It like it's like no. How are we feeling? Are we feeling Tarkov? I feel like I feel like today's just like not a Tarkov day. I don't know. It, it's 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 rehashed fucking things. I, I don't know. Gorilla, thank you for the gift sub to Gooblius. I appreciate that. Fuck Tarkov, dude. It's what should we do for an event? I don't know. Free labs. Fuck it. Okay. What should they do? Kill raiders. I don't know. It's like, dude. Think of something. Anything else. Helldivers 2? What is it, 2016? <sighs> Sorry, I didn't mean that. Helldivers is probably a wonderful game. I'm just bitter about fucking Tarkov. <sighs> what if we just talk? I really don't want to play Tarkov. <laughs> uh... Four months ago is 2016 now. What does that mean? fall guys this might argue arguably be the worst celsius by the way and i'm drinking it because i'm gonna drink all of them but i uh i i want to get this one out of the way and i feel like since i'm like i'm not drunk right now but i'm like semi buzzed uh i was probably drunk like 30 minutes ago right now i i, f I feel pretty capable but uh this one's the worst one this one literally it tastes like um medicine Ah, why can't we get artificial why can't we get artificial fucking cherry right I don't understand Sorry, I had to change some things. How about now? You want to follow me now? No, absolutely not. How about zoom in? You want to zoom in? It loves to zoom. Hates to follow. No, actually, it hates to zoom in, too. It flashes, and then it doesn't do anything. I'm also talking into my, my drink again.
Stop making me look like an idiot. We got to be careful with this one. It doesn't do it. Insta 360. Don't buy it. Hex, I'm unemployed right now. That's a future stream, Abney. It's probably going to turn into a subathon. We, we talked about this probably when you're in your two hours, your second hour of sleep. Uh, Hex, I'm unemployed right now. You should hire me to be your cameraman. I'll accept compensation with Modelo's. Do you have any previous work? Show previous work. <sighs> Can I be your fluffer? No. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Moron. How old are you? <laughs> this is a question we all want to know in the Discord. A fucking psychopath. Hex, go inside out. What does that mean? Are you taking interns? Yes. I love f free labor? Hell yeah. Why wouldn't I do that? Too old for you? <sighs> All right, Mr. Beast. Calm down. <laughs> Abney, we want to we wanna see... Um, we want to hear from you. Are you doing well? What's it like? I feel like you're in a, a completely different time zone since you wake up around right now. <sighs> yeah, call in Abney, dude. Let's hear from you. <laughs> what Magic the Gathering card is that on your tray? Let me show you. How do you even see that? What the fuck? How do you even see this? Fucking psychopath. It's being covered. How do you even see this? Do you see this on this? This isn't even on the dude. This this fucking camera sucks. This is what I'm talking about. I guess you could kind of see it on this. <clears throat> It's just a planes card. Nobody uses that. I use it to scrape up all the soot. <laughs> I use it to suck up all the soot off the tray. Oh, here we go. Hello? You are currently the only person in this conference. What? Hello? <laughs> Hello? What the fuck was that? I was in a conference, guys. Big business going on. Miss my green white deck. I had a um swamp green deck. I don't even remember what it was called. That's what I had. It was okay. It wasn't anything special. Uh, again, this kind of goes back to what we were talking about earlier, where I don't really know too much about magic. Magic is awesome. I like magic a lot. I think the artwork is great. It's just like kind of a lot, you know? And um, I think I kind of like the play style of Pokemon a little bit more. It's easier for my, for my dumb brain.
<laughs> you want to? Did you see that too? I still have the plastic on the Go XLR. Should we? Should we peel it off? All right, I'll do it. This is a big moment, guys. I um, I don't usually do this. This is kind of a huge moment. <laughs> you guys like my piss jugs? Nah, it's just water. All right, here we go. Just leave it like that. Would you guys hate that? My stream deck stopped working. <laughs> Hold on. Gotta restart it. Should we try again? Leave it like that? Uh-oh. We got some people saying we should leave it like that. What should we do in this kind of situation? Are we more team leave it like that? Some of us like to peel. Some of us like to leave it on for future things so as we might not scratch our plastics. I'm more of leave the plastic on so that it stays on there so in case I ever want to resell it, it's never smudged. For if we get rid of the plastic, it will never be smudge free again. What say ye, chat? Shall we peel? Or shall we not peel? We've got some rip it offs, we got some not rip it offs. But which one of you in chat has two copies of Trancers on Laserdisc, Japanese and English? That's what I thought. Let's ask this guy. Hello. Hello. They hung up. They were Cheer terrified. 100 not peeling it off is like saving your girlfriend for the next guy. Nay, I say we peel. Oh, it's stuck on the buttons. Oh, shit. Is it gonna rip the buttons up? How do you do this? So it has been done.
The plastic has been ripped off. Look at it. I hate this camera with a passion. You have no idea. As if the skin of flesh has been peeled off, our GoXLR skin has been peeled and destroyed. Who would like this? Unhinged VA. Now wear it. Now the CoXLR's flesh will become my flesh. What a time to come into the stream. <laughs> what a time to come into the stream. Uh, nothing's going on here. Don't worry about it. We're not doing anything over here. We're nothing illegal or anything, trust. Oh my god, dude, who came in hot? We got Hal with the raid! Hal, first person shooter, XX. We got a real motherfucking straight edge guy in here, baby. No drugs, no drinking. It's Hal! Coming in hot with the raid, and we like to see it, baby. We like to see it. Thank you so much, Hal. What was Hal up to? Playing Tarkov? What a game, huh? Incredible. Nothing but non-stop action coming from that game. They said, do you want an event? What should we, what do you want? Oh, you want free labs again? Sure, fuck it. Thank you, Hal, for the raid. I appreciate that. I was joking. I, it's, it's, I don't think you actually straight edge. It doesn't matter. Oh. this entire thing because I can't stop it. <laughs> I can't stop this. It's a transition. It's going to keep going. Live from Twitch, <laughs> it's the Hexloom Show. Get ready for live call Debra, I can't hear this guy. Turn that damn TV off. I've told you so, so many, many times. times. Your voicemails and live gaming. <gasps> Get your chat fingers ready. Yeah, 100, yeah, 100. Grab your favorite brew and get ready to immerse yourself in the thrill of the game. How the hell do you do this? Now, here's your host yet again, Hexloom. I might have pushed the wrong button. And the problem is, is when you start a transition and then you try to stop it, it doesn't work. You have to finish the transition. The problem with that is that transition is very long, so it's fine. Don't worry, I had to go through all of this. See, I already smudged it up. I don't know why you guys told me to do this. <laughs> it's already smudged, man. It doesn't look good now. It was fine on the pla- You can't even see it. It was fine on the plastic. Now it just looks like shit. Sorry I'm late, Hex. Doc told me I might be dying soon. Also, are you going to finish <laughs> that modello? Christ. I could really use it right now. Cheer 100. <laughs> My god, dude. What the fuck? Is this true? Who said that? Who was that? <clears throat> oh my god, Savage. Is this true? I don't know how to react to this. I don't know whether to be funny or if I should be uh, 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 an endearing friend. Anyways, yeah, that my Modelo's long gone. I also had a Yingling. I uh, never had one of these before. This is my first. And uh, I gotta say, Yingling? 
might be better than Modelo. I already said it earlier, but I'm going to say it again. <sighs> don't forget to... Uh, Greg, please. Not, we don't know if this is true or not. Hold on a sec. I'm not drunk. I always forget that a lot of you guys had, weren't here when I first started streaming. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a normal stream back in the day. We're getting back to that kind of assless chaos energy, dude. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Give this man the keys. I'm not saying I would drive in the streets. Oh, it's a joke. Okay, good. Thank God. All right. Okay. Greg, let it rip. <laughs> Greg, let it rip. Let the jokes rip, Greg. Not assless chaps, assless chaos. I uh, I had a stream where I I had uh, my own. I I did a stream where um I streamed my own funeral. What the fuck is the point of having a funeral when you're dead? You know, you want to have a funeral when you're alive. And the funny thing is, is uh, curb your enthusiasm in one of the like most recent seasons did an episode where he talks about that where he says that he would much rather have his funeral when he's alive and i was like dude i did that that's crazy i'm literally larry david it's insane thank you did larry david steal from me who's who's to say that's fine with me he can have it hey yeah yeah I'm sure other people have thought about that before, though. <sighs> you know, if you drink this Celsius in particular, this cherry um, apple Celsius fast enough, it's not that bad. It's still fucking the worst Celsius that there is, but it's not as bad as the uh, the other ones. Yeah. Larry David used to tier three sub shotgun it. It's basically almost gone. This is my second Celsius of the day. Let's not get too carried away. I know it's like 2 a.m. or, uh, you know, 7 a.m. for you, Abney, but it's fine. I think my eyesight's getting worse. <laughs> I can barely see chat. I'm like squ squinting my eyes. doesn't even recognize this. At what point does it recognize the hand gestures? Okay, there we go. <sighs> no? That one's got to... Okay, I was going to say. Oh! I'm about to motherfucking bust, baby. Whoa, that's 12 gifted mugs! <coughs> Mugs gifting out 12 gifted absolute psychopath. Please, everybody, join me in a chant. Mugs the Bugs gifted a tier one sub to CPT and Count them up for me, guys. Mugs the Count Bugs them gifted up, a tier baby. one Count sub to Neric. Mugs the Bugs gifted a tier one sub to Skunkdo. Let's do it in Mugs Spanish. Mugs the Bugs gifted a tier one Uno. sub to Bahrain. Dos. Mugs the Bugs gifted a tier one sub Tres. to Big Underscore All Underscore Ricky. Cuatro. Mugs the Bugs gifted a tier Cinco. one sub to Fork. Seis. Siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce. That's it. No more. Counting over. Done. Venite. Don't count anymore. <laughs> Thank you for the 12 gifted mugs, dude. Uh, actual psychopath. What's up, guys? You guys got a gift sub from mugs. Be sure to say gracias. Or thank you. Either one's fine. <laughs> Absolute psychopath. Muggs is quite the guy. <sighs> yeah, this is going to be a problem. If anyone has... Rec uh, I know you guys posted some in the Discord, but yeah, if anyone's got good ears that are wireless i'm talking earbuds i don't mean wireless headsets i don't want anything over my head i've lived that life before it's fucking i hate it it's like squeezing my brain 
because uh, this this is not it. <laughs> I already I knew this was going to be a problem, but I didn't uh, realize to the to the degree that it is. Ugh. <gasps> Ultimate ears IEMs. Oh god, do I have to? <sighs> How much are those? I've already spent so much on these. Five hundred to three thousand dollars. Oh, okay. <laughs> the fuck? I'll buy a used car for three thousand dollars. How much money do you think I make? <laughs> you think that YouTube ad revenue is doing that good? What the fuck? But can you put a used car in your ears? No, I can travel with a used car for at least, you know, 20 miles. <laughs> oh, is this? Wait, what is this? Hold on. <clears throat> Are these them? Oh. oh, wait. Okay, hold on a sec now. end zone you know the problem <clears throat> the problem with earbuds are really any um oh these are sony's hmm. yeah but are the i need something that's really good quality the problem with with earbuds in general or, or any headset is is you can never like you you can't test them right so you're just kind of at like you just hope that they're good for 200 bucks, I would fucking hope they're good. <clears throat> Sony WF series is fire. Is this what this is? Or is this not? You can always return them. But then it's like a waste of my time. I don't want any over overhead uh, headphones. I already... I had a um, Steel Series... Uh, what's it called? Arctis or whatever? I've had those before. It, it, it like squeezes... Squeezes your brain. I don't like it. I'm with Lore Master. I I've that's something I've never heard anybody say. What did he say? <laughs> Come buds. Okay. Yeah, that's that's about right. <laughs> What is this one? Are these the ones that you were talking about to begin with? One driver, two drivers. Why not three? Hmm. Fuck, man. <laughs> these are probably pretty good, too. Wait, are these wireless or not? Or are these just the, um... These are just the buds, aren't they? Wait a minute. Yeah, you just, you sent me the buds. These, these, these are wired. These aren't wireless. They let you buy the Bluetooth pack when you buy. How much is that shit? Let's see how much Greg's wanting me to spend on this. <clears throat> it's telling me to enter the information uh, for checkout, and it hasn't given me anything as far as Bluetooth. Craig sent you an affiliate link. <laughs> Craig's just trying to make a buck, isn't he? I saw that. You can't hide the truth. I, I already saw what Abney said. 
This is like one peg trying to send me a fucking Studio 69 or whatever that fucking thing is. Get 10% off and then I still got to pay three thirty five hundred dollars for in-ear monitors that sound like skull candies. <coughs> To be fair, those headsets are actually really nice. <laughs> they don't actually sound like skull candies. But to spending like thirty-five hundred dollars on on a, a, a set of earphones in general is, I can't even fathom that. That that's actually insane. Even buying these in ears, I was like, this these they, they better sound good. Because having to send these back just won't happen. So I'll have to send them back to China or whatever that is, and I'm not figuring that shit out. What happened to Smash? He vanished. He's gone. He's he's sunk into the cum. That's where he belongs. <laughs> Don't disrespect Skull Candies. All right, my bad. <sighs> Unmodded. Greg's, let's be honest. Greg's the only mod that ever really shows up anymore. I saw Beanie Queen in here earlier, though. B-Horse has an adult job. Ballad also has an adult job greg's just sitting on the computer with ai all day let's be real why the new setup you're right i should have just stuck with what i had before <laughs> greg is ai that is true i've never actually seen greg in real life I think he might actually be, I think he might actually be, uh, AI sentient sent from, uh, Hollywood to try to take all of our ideas to use for the next Netflix show. Disney needs ideas. They're running out. They're rehashing all of our uh, ideas. They need something original. Press play is AI generated. I mean, technically, they made a, uh, Press Play too. They they technically reimagined Press Play already, which is kind of insane if you think about it. I forget what that movie's called. <sighs> what was the other one called? Greatest Hits? Is that what it was called? <clears throat> looks like shit. It looked like a direct copy of Greg's movie, to be fair. It was actually insane. <laughs> Click by Adam Sandler. My wife wanted to watch it and said we'd be cheating on Greg. What a homie. I tagged you in a video on TikTok that I thought you sounded like you. I never saw it. I, I never get on TikTok. Oh, yeah. We never looked at the clips you guys set up. Let's check that out. You guys sent in a bunch of clips. Let's check them out. That's something we can do. Thought, the thought of playing Tarkov right now makes me sick. It's just not something I want to spend my time doing. <laughs> I'm just going to stay in the Tarkov category. It's fine. All right. I guess we could go to just chatting. I don't even know how to do that. Oh shit, have I been recording? I can't see my stream deck. All right, all right, all right. All right, you guys submitted clips uh, in the Discord. Let's check these out. 
<coughs> if you haven't, exclamation point Discord. You guys can uh, check it out. We have a bunch of clips submitted here. Or just things in general. Some things that are just going on in the world, and I kind of want to check it out. Let's see what we got. What the hell is this? All right. Uh, white screen alert. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why does this... I'm getting a shit ton of Sony ads now on this. Let's open this up in a uh, private, <coughs> private link here. Oh my god. What have I done? Makes me want a hot dog real bad. Alright, here we go. We'll check the uh, voice line as well. Alright, apparently at Yellowstone National Park there was a massive explosion. What happened? Yellowstone National Park, Biscuit Basin. Biscuit, oh, Biscuit Basin? National, Yellowstone National Park temporarily closed following a massive explosion that was caught on camera Tuesday morning. Interesting. All right. Hey, hey, Canadian Clark Kent. Get this guy away from all the kryptonite. What would Canadian Superman be? Uh, what would his kryptonite be? Park staff, blah, blah, blah. A lot of reading. Let's watch video. Oh, my God. Is this what you guys, non-subs... Is this what it's like? I can't even hear it. This ad's got no audio. Ah! Jesus Christ. This, this, it's 2020, what the fuck? It's 2024, the best we can do here is 300p, 400p? What is this shit? What? You tell what the hell did they film this on? A Motorola Razor? What's even happening? I don't think this was ever the right way. No, actually, I think it was. I think it was the right way. I don't know what's going on with this arm thing. This this might be the this one's new too. It's all right. I got like three more of these things in the in the old closet. We'll have to we'll have to go back to it. All right. Okay. All right. Big big geyser. This doesn't. Oh my god. Uh, let me go first so I can make this stuff stable. Walk right where I'm walking. This can't be the most high def video that we have of this. I want to say everybody wants to move out of here really quickly because we don't know how safe this is. This could be really, really dangerous. Feel free to grab my hand. Feel free to grab Why my are hand. you going close to it? Hey, hey. But just keep moving. If, unless there's big holes. Follow that guy in the St. Louis City <laughs> Leave. <laughs> on a I'm damn sinking. potato. I, another thing too is I hate when people film stuff and they film this way. Film, I, 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 please, if you're ever in a position that you are filming something like this, for the love of God, film horizontally, please. <laughs> I know it's not good for TikTok. I don't give a shit. Just film, film it horizontally, please. Every year, people fall into the hot spring and die because they're so hot. Everything is One person fell into a pool and the water is so hot and acidic, there was, there was nothing left of his body within 24 hours. Jesus fucking Christ. Is this technically a hot spring? What is this thing? <clears throat> Country Kiwi, thank you for the, uh, the two months. Two months. All right, I'm an idiot. Wait, 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 wait. No, 20 months. 20 months. It's saying resubbed for two months. Thank you for the 20 months. I appreciate that. And Canadian, they, uh, Clark Kent, it was eight months. It's coming up weird right now. I don't know what's going on. Right. My bad. That was oh, yeah, my human God. fondue. Oh, my gosh. Max, keep going. Keep going. 
Yeah, get the fuck away from that. Dude, dude, that thing's gonna blow up at any second. Man, that's crazy, though. We are getting out of here. Well, you're taking your fucking time. How, how uh, hot is that shit? I don't know if it says in here how hot it actually is, but that's a lot of damage from that, man. The blast didn't look that bad from the video, but the aftermath here it looks pretty bad. That's crazy. Jesus. <sighs> Sometimes you just gotta bust. Very cool. Thank you for sending that in. Puss pants. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, we got a lot of clips of me here. And Greg added everyone. <laughs> Send in clips of me. Uh, any different clips in here? All right, here we go. Uh, Rase 4K. Here we go. Got a little clip from him. Let's check this out. Uh, I think that's how you say it. I might be saying that wrong. I apologize. <clears throat> All right, we got a scrunched screen gamer here. That's that's uh, what we got. First off, how the fuck do you get on top of this? How are you here? I uh, I didn't know where you were at first, but now I do. How did you get here? I need to know for scientific purposes. Please let me know. All right. Oh, we got someone. Classic spot. Oh. Oh! <laughs> We like to see it. We love that. Strength and drugs, probably, but from what? Where even is this guy? I think I'm aiming too high with this. You did perfect. Oh, shit. <laughs> Absolute legend. Incredible. I'll watch it again. That's <clears throat> I'm surprised it didn't hit the, um, I guess it's above that, isn't it? I think I'm aiming too high with this. <laughs> good shots, my guy. Good shots. Very good. Very nice. Cheer 100. Well, one good thing for them, they can now see they've been coomed on by a national landmark. Not many got that on their resume. By the way, in response to your question of yesteryear, I'm nearly 40, and I'm a father, and... He's okay. I didn't make him retarded or anything. Uh, go team me. In fact, he's usually ashamed of most of my jokes. I don't know why. Cheer, 2023, little bitty poop nuggets. Thank you, Smash. Appreciate that. All right, we got a new voicemail coming in here. Hey, this is uh, Michael from Voodoo Ranger. Um, just want to let you know that peeling plastic off is in breach of your contract, so you're going to be hearing uh, from our lawyers in just a bit. Uh, thank you. Bye. The nicest I'm, we're going to sue you message I ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the voicemail. Voodoo Ranger. No code. Just drink it. Very nice. <clears throat> that's kind of f***ed up. Yeah. Why is that f***ed up? Because that's... Like, that's love, you know? Okay. Thank you, Gorilla, for sending that into the Clips channel. Very nice. Are there any clips that are not of me <laughs> in here? This could be anything, by the way. This could be, you know, news, anything. That's This is what the Clips channel's for. Your drama, whatever. Anything that can get us away from fucking dark up. <clears throat> plastic naysayers, I guess so. I don't know. Are you guys freaks that just rip the plastic off immediately, or do you leave that shit on? I leave them on for as long as possible. I, it's, it's, it's crazy. I don't rip that shit off unless I absolutely have to. And honestly, I'm terrified to even touch this Go XLR right now because of how shiny it is. And I don't want to, like, ruin that. It's just going to be filled with fingerprints. 
it's crazy how dirty the buttons are compared to the rest of the actual product. <laughs> you don't like it? All right, what is this? Oh, we got some more. Porter's got a clip of his own. We don't take kindly to your... I stopped smoking weed in my like throat. I don't know what's going on. Whenever I stop smoking weed, like my throat, I feel like it's like rebuilding itself or something. I, I don't know what's happening, but it makes me cough like uncontrollably. Am I dying? Are there any doctors in the chat? I have multiple questions. We don't take kindly to your I Where this, do we take these? This is uh Where Porter. Hit Ian drop it. Here it is. He's up he's up there. Parking location. Yeah, what happens if you shoot this while mulligan? I like the cutoff. It made up for the uh, three frames I saw in this entire video. You don't take time, lady. He's up there. Parking location. Yeah, what happens if you shoot this while mulligan? What a quick... Look at that quick shot, though. That was insane, Porter. We don't take time to shoot this while mulligan. Holy shit, what a shot. Hell yeah, dude. I would assume that was you shooting him unless he just kind of, like, blowed up. I don't know. Very cool. Classic Porter. Uh, I think in August, we're going to be playing some um, some Hunt Showdown. I think that should be good. <clears throat> There's a lot of uh, extraction-type shooters that are going to be coming out. There's something called, like, Delta Force, or I don't know if that's actually the name of it or not. <clears throat> I don't know if it's Delta Force or what, but you got some Hunt clips? Let's see them. Uh, hunt should be pretty fun. I forget what it's called, like, Hunt... 18 something I don't know I thought they were releasing a completely different game but I guess it's uh, I guess I forgot to turn this off I guess it's not just a new map or something I think that's what you guys are saying yeah we got some hunt freaks in, in the chat in the community. I like Hunt. I uh, I never disliked Hunt. I just feel like, I don't know. <clears throat> Alright, we got some more clips in here. We like to see this. It would have been great if he kept singing, dude. Right after that? Aw. Uh, you gotta think of the content, dude. He's already stream like filming himself singing in a car. He's already thinking of the content. It would have been great. He's fine. It would have been great if he just kept singing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He definitely flipped, right? Look at that, dude. That should be a. Uh, I don't know what he's driving, but that should be a commercial for it. Incredible stuff. Thank you for the. Uh, thank you for the clip. Yeah, glasses stayed on. Everything. I can't tell if he um flipped or not. To be fair, I think he flipped. He rolled twice. It didn't even look like it. That's crazy. All right, here we go. We got another clip here. Here's an unconventional but very effective way to release a tight psoas that doesn't involve stretching. First, we must understand that the psoas attaches on the lumbar spine and also... <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here's an unconventional but very effective way to release a tight psoas that doesn't involve stretching. First, we must understand that the psoas attaches on the lumbar spine and also the femur. When this muscle gets tight, it pulls the pelvis forward, and the more forward your pelvis goes, the more your ribs flare and get stuck in an inhaled position. So the key would be to get in a position where you can get a full exhale. This will bring the rib cage down and the pelvis subsequently underneath it, which will help release the psoas. 
To do that, get in this position with your feet on the wall and an object in between your knees. On the wall, you want to feel your inner heel and first metatarsal heads evenly on both sides. And make sure you have gentle but clear contact of these two points in your pelvis, which will help it stay neutral. Now the key here is to get a gentle but full exhale. Reach low with your hands and then get all of that air out. About five to 10 seconds and you'll feel a little bit of side ab tension at the end of that exhale. Pause, close your mouth and inhale gently through your nose. Do this for about five to 10 breath cycles. What? Now, what is that? You guys are having a conversation. <laughs> <It's so laughs> I watched this. I was watching this last night. Uh, if you haven't watched this, it's very interesting. The Fousey. I Dude, listen, I was... When Fousey started stream, uh, live stream, IRL streaming, I, I was all in, man. Uh, that whole arc was insane. Okay, well, what? What does this do, though? I thought this was going to crack my back. I guess not. All right, here we go. We got some uh, Omid action going on. I don't know how old this is. How old is this? Man, this is two years ago? Holy fuck. All right. That was a crazy flick. Ah? Uh? Oh, oh, fuck! <laughs> Did he get shot too? Oh no, he was kind of all right. Yeah, he's white out in the open. Brother, you're not under any cover. <laughs> uh? Oh. Oh no. Fuck! Oh no, it wasn't a gun. It was the actual frag. Okay, very cool, very nice. Two years ago, Mead. When Tarkov was fun. <sighs> I like these chiro I'm I'm Are prioritizing like chiropractor videos. Oh, is this fake chiropractor? I want to see some real stuff that I can do to my body right now and hear it crack. All right, relax your jaw real quick. Okay, now <sighs> I'm gonna clear your airways. All right, now you're gonna want to relax your hip bone. Like, All right, we're gonna even this makes me excited. Okay, you might feel a little pinch. <laughs> Alright, you might feel this one a little bit in your toes. Now we're gonna do a big crack on three. One. <laughs> touch your toes. Oh, you could do better than that. Alright, you're gonna feel a little pressure in your neck. Alright, you might feel a little. <sighs> it's, uh, let's be let's be honest. I need someone to do this to me ASAP because my my back fucking sucks. Do you and Aqua send chiropractic videos back and forth to each other? <clears throat> we might have sent a couple back and forth before. I know he's a fan also of people getting cracked. I once got lumped into a uh, situation where I was in a chiropractor subscription service. I went once, and then like three months later, I canceled it. These bastards knew what they were doing. <laughs> I never feel better after my Cairo adjustments. Really, Zoinks? I definitely felt a little bit better, but I don't know if it was because I, I was actually feeling better or if it was just me trying to cope with the fact that I just spent money and I just... He kind of like cracked my back in a way that I have, wasn't able to crack it. Because right now, like, I could. Oh, dude, maybe we should have a chiropractor stream. Hire a chiropractor to come over and crack me. That would be content for about three minutes. I'd rather have a massage, honestly. We know why, Abney. You've told me about your little massage adventures that you've had. Those are sick. All right, what are all these? Okay. Where you working, bro? You got plenty of cash. Plenty. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we really? got types. Yeah. Yeah. Those are my favorite. Yeah. Okay. Lots hey, of we ain't gonna hold you up, bro. What's your name, you? My name, Joshua Henderson. What is this? <laughs> Look at this little freak in here. Watch this. Oh, I've seen the bunker freak one. Yeah, I've seen that. <clears throat> I will never go to one of those crack doctors. Is that what they're called? Crack doctors? 
I, I will say that he put my spine in a position that um, I, he, he had me lay on my side, and then he grabbed my hip, and then he grabbed like my the top of my shoulder, and then he just went, and he cracked my back in a way that it hasn't been cracked before. And I at least got to say that that was truly a, a nice experience. Uh, did it make me feel like my life was changed afterwards that I thought I would and the, what I thought, you know, that I've seen other people have? Absolutely not. Uh, in fact, it was probably quite the opposite and very lackluster. <laughs> I thought I was going to walk out of there being like, oh my God, I can take on the world. And it was just like, okay, I feel kind of better now. But what I really wanted... Maybe I needed more adjustments. I don't know. What I really wanted was them to put me in that head thing. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? The head thing where they just, like, yoink my head up. And then it, like... I, I would probably be six foot five. I would probably be six foot five if that actually happened. My spine is an accordion. Do Kairos grab the tip of your penis? Well, that's, uh, that's something else that needs to be stretched out. Oh yeah, look. Oh whoa. All right, we got a clip coming in from Skittles here. Let's check it out. I guess I didn't even know that's. Is this Skittles? Oh, this is Skittles stream. This is four. Wait. This is a four. Ye this is four years ago. Oh yeah, look. Oh whoa. Do it. Say oh whoa. My parents put books on my head so I would stop growing. Is this an actual thing, Heavy? I feel like Heavy never doesn't lie, and this is actually something that happened. What? <laughs> Did your parents actually think that this would happen? It would make you stop growing? This is some Jehovah's Witness shit. <laughs> Jehovah's Witnesses have, like, a headquarters, I can call. <laughs> I don't know what I would talk to him about. Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses headquarters number. I guess it would be technically called Bethel. Holy shit, they do. Hey, where'd it go? Where's the, uh... what we're really doing right now. Thank you for calling Jehovah's Witnesses in New York. Our office hours are 8 a.m. to noon and 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, what Monday through Friday. Please call back during ah, these hours. Ah, come on! All right. Thank I you for calling Jehovah's Witnesses in New York. Our office hours are 8 a.m. Oh to noon and 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. All right, all right, all right, all right. Next, next stream. We'll get you next time, motherfucker.
God never sleeps. What is this? My fellow Americans. Ooh, a charboard clip? I'll always watch a charboard clip. Playing. Look at what I like charboard. Oh look yeah. a freaking look a freaking frog. What? Huh? Come look at this frog, guys. What the fuck? Jesus! No! <laughs> you! Fuck you! You're the worst! <laughs> My god! How the hell are you gonna do? That's insane! I can't believe that Charborg would do such a thing. I refuse to believe it. Jesus Christ. What an actual psychopath, dude. What? Huh? I didn't know Charborg was like that. I might have to rethink the whole how I feel about him entirely. Yeah, they get a one hour lunch break. And then they like close up like two hours after that. What the hell is that about? I guess religion has a closing time. I, they're, they're missing out on a, on a lot of stuff. I feel like my coffee tastes like an instant ramen packet. Brother, what kind of coffee are you drinking? <laughs> are you sure you made coffee? Oh, it's a Keurig? That makes a lot of sense. I've had a Keurig once, I think, and in like a hotel, and it was probably the worst coffee experience I've ever had in my life. <laughs> you sure you didn't put the packet in your coffee? <laughs> Shin noodle coffee. To be fair, I think uh, I think Shin ramen might be the best instant ramen. I would drink noodle coffee, but only one. I like noodles. Noodles might be the go-to. Oh wait, no, no, no. I got I got some food this morning. I forgot. Ooh, that just reminds me, I need to clean my espresso machine. I only have like five or I don't remember how many more Celsiuses. So as soon as those are done, we're starting the whole arc of, of making myself a science experiment. No more caffeine. And we're just going to day by day see, see what the effects of not drinking caffeine is. I'll take the espresso machine. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm just going to have an espresso machine that just... I'm not going to throw it out. I I think the... I'm confident enough that I'm not going to be using espresso because the thought of actually having to make an espresso and then actually clean it up is in... The time that I have to spend to do that is enough for me to not want to do it. And so I kind of know that I'm not going to... Like, the coffee there is not going to tempt me to do it, you know? So, like, if I have a can in the fridge, that's the easiest thing to for caffeine, right? You just crack it open, you drink it. I'm bleeding. Okay. So, I thought you did this already? Stopped caffeine? No, 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 no. I, I have before in the past. Uh, and then I, we did a sub... What fucks it up is subathons. Because we do the subathons and I, I, like, I need caffeine. Like, there's no way I can do them without it. Um, otherwise I'll just be grumpy because I'm already sleep deprived. So I usually do really good and then we do a subathon and then it's just out the window and I have a great time drinking caffeine and I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. And then I, I, I get, I get back on the wagon or whatever. I, I love caffeine too. Have you ever quit cold turkey? Sometimes it's kind of nice just making yourself into a, a little science experiment though, guys. I highly suggest it. It's also a nice like mental... Uh, like, can I do this type of thing, you know? Do I have the mental stability or the, the mind frame to do this? I suggest trying it. Going through the withdrawal phase of caffeine and being able to conquer that shit is kind of... It's it's cool. I miss being a barista sometimes, getting into work at like 4 a.m., having the world to myself, just making a nice little cortado in silence. Uh, shout out to baristas, man. It's truly a... Um, 
Making coffee, like a good cup of coffee or espresso, you know, anything is truly an art form. And uh, I, I think it's great. <clears throat> it's literally a science. Imagine it'd be like when my dad quit chewing cold turkey. <laughs> he threw a bottle of ketchup at my brother. I remember my dad at one point quit coffee cold turkey. My dad was the type of person to drink like a pot, uh, not just a pot, like multiple pots of coffee a day. Uh, and one day he just stopped drinking cold turkey, um, the, the coffee. I, I don't know if it was for health reasons or what. For some reason he did it. For whatever reason, I remember him having like insane headaches, and uh, I definitely got the headaches. I wasn't as irritable. I wouldn't uh, more, more, not more so than usual. Uh, I definitely got like being dizzy. I felt like the floor was moving a lot. I, I got major demotivated to do anything. I didn't want to do anything. I think that was mainly the thing that took over. I was just, my motivation was like, phew, I just wanted to be in bed and I didn't want to do shit. You've quit nicotine cold turkey back in the day? You used to smoke cigarettes, you bad boy. <clears throat> That's another thing too. It was kind of, it was hard for me to... Um... My my sl me sleeping was like all over the place. My body didn't know how to deal with it. I can imagine nicotine probably even worse. Oh, you used to dip? What the fuck? New Abney lore? Abney used to dip? I would have never guessed that. You do the pouches? Should we start zenin? <laughs> I'm trying to start a new habit. <laughs> what what habit should we start? I quit smoking about 80 days ago and it's really tough to sleep without nicotine at first. As someone who's never, well, I've smoked a cigarette before and I immediately hated it. Uh, and I'd never touched anything since. I think the most, like, is, what is hookah? Is that nicotine? Or I guess it's tobacco, right? What is, what feeling do you get when doing nicotine? Is it like a head rush or is it, like, is it, what kind of high is it? Like, what's the appeal? It's a head buzz, then a stem effect. It's like a head rush buzz. What can you what can you compare it to that I might understand? Is it kind of like the same rush that you would get if you like smoke hookah a little bit? <coughs> like a buzz, okay. It, basically, I would assume just more kind of uh stronger. Stronger. High levels of caffeine, shotgunning a Red Bull with some wobbles. Whoa, okay. Sounds fucking cool to me. <laughs> Sounds fucking sick. Why is it always the stuff that hurts you the most or the, the coolest? Lightheaded in a good way. Hmm. Okay. Gotcha. I would assume it's like an extended feeling of that. Alright, so I can I can see why people would enjoy doing that. It's kind of a bummer that smoking is, is so bad for your lungs, man. Why is it always like when you smoke or uh, when you drink, smoking just kind of goes hand in hand? Like, I don't even smoke, but whenever I drink, I'm like, I could see myself smoking. <laughs> I never do it, but it's like, I could I could totally see myself smoking. Even if I, if, even if I don't like inhale anything, it's just, they just go hand in hand. Everything I like is bad for you. Why is that?
A black and mild? I'm more of a backwoods guy. Don't worry, I still saw it. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I understand why it auto-modded that. <laughs> But I, I I know what you meant. <laughs> I just want DMT to be legal in America so I can finally try it. I mean, I guess I, it doesn't have to be. <laughs> Lurking Lucky Larry! 13. Woo! Look at that, dude. Thank you for coming in there with uh, 13 months. Things are getting kind of serious. What happened with the uh, the projector? Nice setup, brother. I don't know why I turned off. Zaptis, thank you for the 11 months. I forgot that all the alerts come up on the CRT TV over there. Very cool, very cool. Vaping has zero negative effects on your health. I love my flavored air. I don't know about that. Don't they say that like even smoking hookah is, it's, I forget how many times worse than like smoking cigarettes. Whether or not that's true, I have no idea, but. No. How do you pronounce that? I I uh it's fuck. I I know the word but I can't think about it. Ayahuasca? I I uh I fuck. I was watching I was watching uh they were talking about that on Wild Ride with Fuzi. Ayahuasca. Thank you very much. Oh my God. Ayahuasca. Yeah, that sounds like hell. I when hearing hearing accounts of that does not sound cool. Uh, however, the aftermath, the the whole idea of kind of going to hell and then kind of like coming out of that and kind of uh, figuring yourself out, going to like the darkest parts of your mind and surviving that sounds kind of cool. And I feel like that would be something that I'm into. I like conquering stuff. I'm really into that shit. Uh, especially like mental and mental mind frame things like that. But I, I don't know if I could do that. Yeah, you're like purging yourself, right? You're basically throwing up and shitting a bunch of stuff, and then you just hallucinate. I'm not doing salvia. I've seen. I've watched someone on salvia once. It. I didn't enjoy being around them when they were on it, and I. <laughs> never talk to them again. Uh, not because of the salvia thing, but I I don't know. Also, I've never heard anyone say, wow, salvia was a really fun thing to do. Is salvia still legal? There's no way that salvia is still legal, right? Is salvia legal. I guess I should say where, right? In America. Salvia is not regulated under the Controlled Substance Act, Substances Act, but in some states, including Delaware, Illinois, Louisiana, Missouri, Virginia, uh, Tennessee, Texas, and others, have passed their own laws. It doesn't say what those laws are, but sure. Yeah, I remember you could just buy that shit at a local smoke shop. Remember Spice? Holy shit. Is Spice still a thing? Is smoking... Spice... Spice literally looked like carpet. I don't even know what Spice did. What was it? K2, is that what it was? Yeah, this shit looks like if you if you had a carpet and you just kind of like skimmed the top of it. Or you ever watch those like TikToks or Instagram reels of people who make actual rugs and stuff? It looks like the the stuff after that. It was fake weed that gave people psych, uh, psychotic episodes. 
What's the other stuff that was like, it wasn't actually weed, uh, THC. It was something else. It was, um, it's legal, but you would kind of get like a high on it. What, what was it? It wasn't, uh, fuck man. It was, um, <sighs> Delta, uh, uh, you guys know, no, not Kratom. Delta eight. Thank you, Jack Jackson. Yes. I, uh, I tried Delta eight before. Before it was legalized uh, here, actual weed, and um, I did not like it. It was whatever it was, what, whatever the one that isn't actual weed. I, it, for some reason, made my brain like think too much. It made it feel like there was like ten people talking at once in my brain, and obviously it was just like me having a bunch of thoughts. But it was like it felt like individual people all like yelling at me at once and I was having like too many thoughts and it, it drove me insane. I hated it. <clears throat> it felt kind of too like, how do I describe this? It, it felt like that, but it also felt like a, um, <sighs> how do I describe this in a way that doesn't make me seem crazy? It felt like someone, like I had all these things talking to me, but it felt like it was also a high pitched thought. Does that make sense? It was like, uh, it felt like someone kind of was just like poking at my brain while that was happening. I don't know if that makes any sense, but uh, yeah, it, it wasn't for me, let me tell you. Yeah, I've never had that experience on actual weed either. Just a lot of dark thoughts sometimes. <laughs> Kombucha? Hey, what's up, Fobtech? <laughs> Tech? Local legend in the chat, guys. Local legend. How you doing, man? I should play Hellblade. I don't like Hellblade. Hellblade, it, it, you're you're watching a, a four-hour-long cutscene. <clears throat> it's not for me. I would not trust me. You don't want to watch me play Hellblade. <laughs> it would not be a good experience for me, and it would not be an enjoyable watching experience for you. Just, tr just trust me on this. There are certain games that I will be like, all right, I'll try it. I'll try it. Uh, this one is not one. Does your town have any sensory deprivation tanks? That's a wild one. I've never, uh, I've never looked into it. I've never done one before, but I have heard accounts of it. And uh, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I, I truly... It's just basically you floating in water, right? And silence. I don't think that would be something that I would find relaxing. I think I would be more bored than anything else. Um, however, I've never tried it. I'm not opposed to trying it. Have you done it before or no? Yeah, you're just laying in salt water, right? You had a small panic attack. Now, are you in complete pitch black, or are there lights inside of it? Could we make our own tank and put it in here? <laughs> could this be something that we could do? How much salt would we need in order to do this? There's plenty of room. It's crazy that Decky went that long in the spaceship. That that's Decky is a different breed, man. Hey, Chris, have a good one, man. Your body weight times ten. That's a lot of salt. The ones I've done have uh, options for lights, music, sounds. It's cool. Uh, cause the water is body temperature, so it's warm at first, but then you eventually don't feel it. Ooh. So you're just like, it feels like you're floating on nothing, huh? If you're not moving. I bumped my head and got salt water in my mouth and my eye. And it wasn't comfortable. See, I just feel like I would get bored. I can, I can lay in silence for free. I can't feel weightless, though. That is true. 
That's a thing. 500 ramen seasoning packets worth of salt. That's interesting. Could we make a... a uh, what are they called again? I don't remember. Could we make a tank? That's a lot of... That's a lot of ramen packets. They do... Re that's a lot of sodium, though. Man, that would be gross. I would have food for a long... We could be eating noodles for forever, though. That might be kind of cool. <laughs> we can and we will. Have you seen the movie Altered States? No, I don't think so. Altered States. It's a 1980 horror movie. Oh, it's got this guy in it. Oh, it's got William Hurt and uh, Bob... Bob Bobbleblum. Let's check out a uh, trailer here. Hopefully, hopefully it's not a puppet master experience when I show boob and cock on stream. Let's check out the trailer. Nineteen. As soon as I see a movie that's from the eighties, immediately want to see it. So let's check this out. Whoa! Wrong button. Oh man! Holy shit! In the basement of one of the country's leading medical schools, Dr. Edward Jessup, candidate for a Nobel Prize, <laughs> is conducting the most dangerous this experiment. This is where uh, Radiohead got the idea for that. And the subject of the music video, huh? Is himself. Ask him what kind of an experience I can expect. What's up, Bally? The noise is deafening. Blacked out. What happens during these blackout periods is you get the feeling of phenomenal acceleration, like you're being shot out over millions, billions of years. Time simply obliterates. Now, I'm asking you to put the experiment off until we understand a little more in order to minimize the no risk. Way. I'm really frightened. What the hell was that? Oh my god, he's altering! Cool he's in an altered to state! To that's actually that's a cool effect. Millions of years stored away in that computer bank we call our minds. We have got trillions of dormant genes in us, our whole evolutionary past. Perhaps I've tapped into that. I'm a professor of endocrinology at the Harvard <laughs> Medical School. I'm an attending physician at the Peter Bent Brigham Hospital. And I'm not going to listen to any more of your bumbo jumbo. I'm going to show you the school radio. Because I believe it, I want this thing stopped. <laughs> The most terrifying experiment in the history of science is out of control. <laughs> is out of control. <laughs> He's running with the dogs, dude. Oh my God! Yes, I would totally watch this. This looks great. I it it looks like it 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 would be interesting. It probably has a lot of really cool practical effects in it. Totally, I'm in, hundred percent. You've seen it before? That running part was insane. I I like that a lot. Two doggos. He's he's becomes a beast. Skittles, you have a good one, man. He's forcing evolution. What a freak. Yeah, he's basically in a deprivation tank. I might have to look it up, see if there's any deprivation tanks in the area. I wouldn't be able to live stream it or anything, but it might be kind of a... It'd be just good to have an experience to see if it actually worked. It's horrible, but the tank... A bee horse. I wish I was a dog. Me too, but like in a really nice, caring household, you know. Or maybe like a street dog. Maybe a street dog would be kind of cool. Just roam the streets. I wish I, wish I was Wishbone. Me as a kid, I wish I was Wishbone too. What's the story, Wishbone? You guys have a favorite Wishbone episode? Mine might have been, uh, 
He had a Robin Hood episode. That one might have been mine. I was a big Wishbone fan. Well, gamers, I think we've reached a point today. A monumental stream. And, uh... Might be time for me to get out of here. But before we do, I think we need to have reflect on the days uh, that we've had so far. Hello, it's Greg Bjorkman here, director of hit film Press Play, now on Hulu. Little stream, I think. Uh... A real new chapter, I think, for the stream, honestly. And uh, kind of, kind of a reimagining of how I want the stream to actually be. A good blending of the old stream and a good blend of the new stream. Despite me not really playing Tarkov that much or really giving a fuck uh, about it too much today. I, really what I'm doing is I'm trying to wean you guys off of Tarkov. I, I'm trying, I'm trying to wean you guys off of Tarkov. I'm trying to become a variety streamer. But I think today has been a, a good step forward. We've laid the foundation. We had a good intro segment. Today we uh, had some viewer voicemails. I shit myself. And I think it's been a really good eye-opening experience. As far as, uh, I think you guys kind of, for the majority of it, enjoyed it as well. And that makes me happy because I was terrified doing this stream. <laughs> whether or not if people are going to show up or enjoy it. But I think for the majority, I think you guys pretty much enjoyed it. And I uh, appreciate that. And I think we can all uh, reflect on, hey, reflect yeah, yeah. on that. Gamers, I hope you have a good weekend. I love you very much. Thank you for all the subs, the resubs, the bits, and most importantly, your time more than anything. And I hope you have a good weekend. We'll see you soon, okay? Nice work, bitch! Bye-bye!